J.O. Wynn, play me some pimping, man. So we got guests in the trap today. Feeling good. I think a second stimulus, uh, stimulus check done dropped too, bro. We were fucking lying at the back was longer than a motherfucker today, I believe. Yeah, that's why I been being nice to all the niggas, cause all the niggas been, you know, doing their thing lately. Ooh! So I, I'm just saying that's why I been being nice to like all the niggas. Niggas is getting money in 2021. They weren't doing it in 19, but 20 and 21. Niggas been on it. Niggas been on the rise. Now I see women. They been coming up on getting the money, but you see what I'm saying? We been starting businesses and creating longevity with the money. Right. But you niggas know, like been the niggas, getting. cause they getting it too fast. The girls, they haven't really figured out like how to get it that fast. So they getting like one or two lump sums and making businesses to create general wealth. You know, generational wealth. The niggas, they just blowing through it cause they know how to just keep hitting until that shit don't hit no more. Cause everybody kept hitting till one day they didn't hit. Ooh, I like that shit. See what I'm saying? Shout out to all my niggas out there getting money. I don't give a fuck what you doing, Me nigga. Either. I don't give a fuck I don't what care you doing, nigga. I'm I don't give a fuck if you pumping gas, if you walking dogs, nigga. <laughs> if you throwing newspapers, give a fuck what a nigga doing, I'm landscaping, glad. driving a boat. I'm glad, cause what? us bitches is tired of taking care of them. Jesus Christ, we tired. Ooh, we tired. How, on average, Ay. how much you think it, it costs? to take care of a nigga, a, uh, just a regular nigga for a year, just one year. To take care of him for a year? Yeah, cause I know child care hiding the motherfucker, so if nigga care got to be right. <laughs> to take care of a nigga for a year? First of all, the mental aspect of how much you gotta invest is priceless. Okay. We can't even put no price on it cause you gotta invest so much mentally. You know how strong you gotta be to be letting a nigga fuck on you every night and this nigga ain't doing shit for you. I ain't got a lot of energy. You getting up every day to go where the fuck you going and do what you got to do. And this nigga really just sitting at home chilling. You get home, he got all the energy in the world to just fuck this shit out you. Cause he think that's his ain't job. Ain't nothing he did. He think that's his job. Yeah, it's to a To the lot. nigga who don't have nothing, he feel like the least I can do is fuck the shit out of her when yeah, she get home. Yeah, cause I just feel like I can't help on now one of these bills. I actually need 50. I got to fuck, eat ass, suck both titties, rub her feet, cook my own hamburger helper, make sure she get a bath. I ain't even riding nowhere today, so she got gas for the week. A uh, son? I'm talking about, it's, man. And then the thing is, it's like, okay, I'm gonna tell you what it's like. All right, boom. It's a lot of niggas who got cheated on in this world. But like, that really ain't something that men like to talk about because it's like an ego thing. Like, yeah. don't no nigga want no niggas to know that. Because in the nigga mind, it ain't a nigga on this earth that can take a woman from you. But yeah, but. Because we never see it coming. But, Women, you like go in that shit and they know it's a possibility that this nigga ain't shit and he might cheat. Niggas be like, man, can't nobody fuck my bitch. I can leave her butt naked at the basketball game because I'm just a cold ass no, nigga. That's a and fact. I'm the only nigga she like. That's how the male ego works. No, that's a fact, but it's like a lot of niggas got cheated on, but that's not what they want to talk about. And then it's also a big group of niggas that got cheated on. Me? Like, I was in there. No, listen, I but on. took their whole back. And they don't want to talk about that either. They but stupid. it's but it happens. And it's the same thing with women when it comes to taking care of a nigga. I don't give a fuck what no hoe look like. I don't care what she got going for. Every hoe in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion then took care of a nigga before when they think back about it. Mm. I don't give a fuck who she is. And that hoe gonna lie and say, who not me, cause I, I, bitch, please. What's the longest you done took care of a nigga? No, but see, that's my thing. Like, people be thinking that when you're saying took care of somebody that like, it's just general, it's generally like, this nigga coming every day and like, oh, babe, can you do this? Babe, can you do that? I need this, I need this, I need this, I need that. But like, when you been dealing with a nigga for some years and then you realize like, out this situation, when it's over, like, what do I say I gain for real? Like, I, like, I feel like if you walking away from the situation and you gain absolutely nothing, you took care of the other person. Like, every time it's about taking care of somebody, it's not always financially. A lot of niggas is fucked up. Like, and when I say fucked up, I don't mean just be cheating, but it's, it's so much other shit, like components. People don't just break up because people be cheating. People be breaking up because this niggas really out here got gambling problems, drinking problems, they drug addicts, addicted to Percocet, 
Lean, Xanax, whatever it's taking, but it's because they so hurt and damaged about other shit that they just be having, trying to do something to keep up. Then don't let it be a nigga who he be going up and down with financial shit. Like, he don't really... Like, he might got money right now, but he don't really know what, what exactly he needs to do to invest and keep it coming or to, like, really get it to come back in. But, like, that shit is... It's mentally draining. Because if you really... I feel like if you fucking with a nigga and he don't have no money, y'all never gonna have a successful relationship. And it's because he's never gonna have that time to pour into you or invest into you because it don't matter what y'all doing, at the back of his mind, just like you women, we think about student loans and medical bills in the back of our head all day, niggas be thinking like, damn bitch, I got children, I got you, you a bill, I got children, that's a bill, I got this, this, and that, I'm a man, nobody supposed to take care of me, I'm supposed to take care, so... I can't really pour into you. I can't really be romantic. I don't really have time for dates. I don't really have time to lay up all the stuff that women like. Because you trying to focus on the shit men like money. You you trying to focus on your life and keeping your life together. Where you like get that? all this goddamn game from? I, don't, I mean, I don't hang around nothing but men. I don't have, like, a lot of girlfriends. Mm. Like homegirls. Like, I got homegirls, but I'm around niggas. I got five brothers. So you be seeing this shit? Hell yeah, I hang with the biggest players in the world. Mm. And when I say player, I don't mean like cheaters. Players, that's, player is a lifestyle. It's a mentality. A woman could be a player, a man could be a player. That shit gotta be in you, right. not on you. Right. Player is within. A lot of niggas, they first generation of players in their family. Meaning that they, they winging this shit. They don't even really know. They winging it off of what they seeing other niggas doing and what they influenced by on TV. They don't have no players in their family for real. Like, it ain't really no get money niggas in their family. Providers, family men, because all that, that's players. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They don't have no foundations in their family. They first generation. If shit getting real in the streets, it ain't nobody in their family they really could call. They the first generation got off the post. They who people calling. So... You know? Wait a minute, wait a minute, stop, cause see, see, I ain't know you was gonna like, when I, I thought you was just about to sprinkle some game. But then when you start going into the big game, I felt like, I felt like I should have introduced you first before you just start going off like that. Cause I'm a nigga and I'm sitting over here like, talk your shit lady. Yeah. Like she knows, she felt the nigga pain before. I don't know what niggas you been around, but they did an excellent job explaining <laughs> to you what a nigga's going through out here in these streets. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. First and foremost, um, man, we got, we got, we got some magnificence in here with us today, man. Come on, man, you know, That's all right. the way. I bought one of, you know, one of the biggest players in the movie today. Uh, a social media star, uh, uh, a television star, mm -hmm. a very captivating businesswoman, mm -hmm. very business savvy, musical, street smart. Musical star too, you know what I'm I was saying? getting to it. We got to play. Because I, I was about to tell them how you, you know, about to come and fuck the game play, up. I got one but there's a lot of niggas who got one, no play, so okay. I'm the biggest. Platinum, music selling artist. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Very entertaining young lady. I love her to death. The first time I met her, I walked up to her. We started talking shit like we grew up together, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Tokyo Vanity. Period. Oh my God. <laughs> Look, man, I don't know if you ever had the presence of being around Tokyo, but she walk in and the energy just changed and everybody's smiling and laughing and it's a joy to be around you. I didn't know you was gonna come to the trap and bless me yeah, with so much game. I have something to say. What's going on, man? Welcome. Thank you. Talk your shit, keep going. But yeah, like, that's, that's all though, for real. Like, that play shit, it's really, it has to be embedded in you. It ain't really something that you can just, you know, you can learn it, it just take longer. You are gonna make a way more mistakes than the original player. Okay? Yeah, you gotta study to be a good you know? player, man. You it's like, if I done had five restaurants and I just opened up a restaurant, you know, and I tell you, I made a hundred my first opening up week. You know what I'm saying? True story. See, it's the same as being like a player, right? That mean like I came from a generation of players. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You trying to open up your restaurant and like, you know, you make a lot of mistakes. What could have only cost you 250000 to start? You ended up wasting $1.2 million your first year doing your restaurant. You get what I'm saying? But it's because it was trial and error. So a lot of niggas that's first generation of players, 
they make a lot of mistakes. They waste oh, yeah. a lot of money. They lose a lot of good people because they winging it. See what I'm saying? You got to you gotta stay up and study, man. You know, get up on your financial literacy and look at the old niggas, man. Talk to some niggas that still got it, but then talk to some niggas who had it. Every nigga that lost it didn't just throw it away. Some niggas walked away from it. One that ain't having no more. Yeah, I seen some niggas walk away from it. Can't have no peace, man. Everything ain't built for everybody, bro. That, that shit will fuck your mind. Because money ain't no peace. Hell no. That's the no most peace. unrest you'll ever have. I'm talking about, I'll tell everybody, if you get some money, everybody who asks you to borrow some money, give it to them. Give it to them. Give it to them. Because everybody. Give 100%, because you only going to get about 20% of your problem back. Everybody else gonna take the money and get the fuck on you. Ain't gonna never hear from them again. They can't never ask you for nothing else. It's some bold ones might double back, but you always gonna fall on. Hell no, I'm still waiting on my other money from you. See? So, that's what I tell everybody. When you get some money, anybody who come asking you for something, just give it to them. Mm. You ain't gonna never have to hear from them no more. You be dropping gang like this on Love & Hip Hop too? Yeah, but I'm not on Love & Hip Hop anymore. I saw you was leaving. Yeah. But they still got some episodes Man, I love them to people play, so right? much. Ain't some more of your episodes coming up? I don't think so. I that's think it. that's it. You left with a bang then. Yeah. I fuck with them, though. I ain't one of them people who, people really just go on TV and stuff and really be feeling like they just supposed to go on TV and promote nothing but this nice little image and their music or their business and just receive, receive, receive and don't have to give. Right. But anything you do in life, you have to pour into it. You see what I'm saying? I know exactly. No, Girl, I'm like, hey, you hosting yeah. this shit. This therapy nah, to me. Nah, <laughs> this nah, shit just you, therapy you to your boys comment and shit. So Go ahead. they go on TV and they just think this shit finna be a breeze. And it really can be a breeze. <clears throat> long as you not no goofy, because I ain't never did no goofy shit on TV, y'all. They ain't never asked me to do no goofy shit. So. Right, I be telling motherfuckers all the time, I'm a comedian, not a clown. Dang. Cause they get on TV and then they turn into the Twilight Zone. Motherfuckers be just like this before y'all start filming. Camera start rolling. She done turned around and said, yeah, bitch, because you fucking with my, fucking with your who? Bitch, you was just talking to me. You better straighten up. I beat your ass up on <laughs> That's why a lot of them hoes got punched in the head while I was on there because of that. They didn't think you was going to do it. Nah, they knew. They just ain't think I was gonna be able to catch them. See, that be the part that fuck them up down on that quick. You really about that life. Mm-mm. We was just listening to your song. Which one? Uh, my favorite one. Beat the bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right, what is it called? Nah, cause I'm really no, not tell, thinking tell, about that. Nah, it is. Tell them the nah, name I, of the no, song. I'm trying to tell you, no, cause it's not even out yet. Oh. The song that's out is Collect Call, but I did say I thump <laughs> that hole when I catch her in that song. But. <laughs> okay, Collect Call. May the best pussy win. Yes. Do you the think women. I should have said, May the best pussy win. I don't share no thing, cause I really, like, oh. knowingly, I really don't. Oh. Yeah. Do you think the women gonna have to step the pussy game up? Yeah, but unfortunately, that's also something that just got to be in you, not on you. So it might really ain't nothing she could do. You think some of these pussies are at the best that that they could be? Huh? You think these pussies are at the best they could be? Like, what else you going to do? What, clean it a little more? Like... I don't know. I, it's a lot of women out here who are strangers with their pussy. It's like they ain't friends or nothing. It's, they just upstairs, downstairs neighbors. They don't know each other's name or nothing. What? They just take the panties off and be like, do whatever. I don't know nothing about this pussy. I definitely think when it comes to your feelings, <laughs> y'all be upstairs, downstairs neighbors. Because up here, like, you'll be like, nigga call, you'll be like, yeah, fuck that nigga. I ain't fucking with that nigga. Maybe y'all gonna have to improve y'all relationship with the pussy. Because I know men treat our, we treat our dick like our little brother. We ain't finna let nothing happen that to y'all. That ain't true. Y'all only check on y'all little brother when something ain't right. Nah. When that bitch but see, that's the thing about your, your little brother. He grown too. He grown too. All that. That's when y'all want to check on it. Y'all do not want to go to the doctor unless something wrong with y'all little brother. Shit. Y'all be checking through y'all bitch results. Don't, I, don't put that on me. Niggas be like, shit. Mm-hmm. Well, she came back and he said she got hey, a clip. So my I dick, know I ain't got it. My dick registered with the state of Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> not everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, my dick registered with the state of Georgia. Stop, Come with it. Original niggas, title. A lot of niggas dickens ain't got their shot shit. Hey, a lot of niggas don't have health insurance, but them the niggas y'all like, you know. Oh, hi. Hey, the streets. Oh, the streets. Yeah. Hey. Well, I'm on the sidewalk. But see, one thing I'm not going to participate in is the destruction of another black man. <laughs> I know exactly why niggas do everything they do. And why? sometimes we write, so and why, sometimes right, so we write. So why y'all don't be going to the doctor? <laughs> them, I can't speak for them niggas. Why y'all don't go to the doctor? I don't know why they don't go to the doctor. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell you what these niggas is out here gambling with their life about. Mm -hmm. I have been put in a position where I'm blessed with some great health insurance. Oh, okay. If I lose a pinky finger, that's $10,000. i am talking that's about amazing. just a tip. I'm insured. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm a comedian in real life. I'm really important to a lot of people. Because <laughs> laughter is important. I'm just saying, the people who fuck with me, fuck with me hard. The new people are the ones that's in and out. But the die hearts, they know my, they know my struggle. They see me come up and gain health insurance. <laughs> They're like, nigga, your skin done evened out. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I was just out here on public assist. I ain't stressing no more. <laughs> Drinking sink water and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that sink water had a niggas fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> niggas out here still drinking sink water. Stop. <laughs> That's when I knew my life was gonna come up. I ain't had tap water in about 10 years. Nigga. I ain't drinking that shit no more. I ain't fucking with no tap water. Mm-mm. Nah, we ain't fucking with that. I see you over there looking good. You got nice nails and nice ice on. Oh, thank you. Looking like a whole bunch of money over there. You think so? I know so. I, well, Look at I them did. eyelashes. I did kind of. That's money. Selena on the lashes and the makeup. Come on, man. When your makeup match your neck, that's when you get money. For real? I'm telling you, I travel all around the country. You fuck me up with that one, B. I've seen so many people who face don't match the rest of their body. Cause sometimes dudes they be green. They be wearing fake jewelry. I don't know if them niggas are niggas who die hard jewelry fans and they just practicing for when they get real jewelry, but I've seen niggas buy new fake jewelry. I ain't gonna lie, me and Holly seen the chain so fake the other day. We knew it was fake as soon as we seen it. That bitch was from here to that door. Right. That's how long the name was on that motherfucker. Nah. You see the type of niggas we keep around us. They just wear like leather necklaces and shit. I love that though. Yeah. We, I love that. We real niggas around this but bitch. I it, love ain't that. No, it ain't no. I really appreciate that. Though. Yeah. We them, we them niggas who want some, some beaded jewelry or something. <laughs> made by a little Spanish lady who prayed over it. Put it in a little Ziploc bag. No, I appreciate 16. that. 16. <laughs> we them type of niggas. I fuck with that. That's the one thing I like about these niggas. They did not let the money change them. They are the same niggas. I don't even know where none of these niggas live, and I've been working with these niggas for seven years straight. I think, I, I like that though. I like people who buy things and they do things because that's what they want to do or that's what they like. The crazy thing about it is just watching people like get some money and the shit that they always wanted. This nigga bought 20 pink do rags. On everything. This nigga That's Joe. I love that. And the crazy thing is, when we started this bitch, that nigga had dreads. Came here one day, had destroyed them hoes, and got his shit braided. I don't know what he on. Like to what? Mine? That's because I'm sitting down. You got some weed on your shirt. <laughs> Yeah, just throw that bitch. That nigga threw that blunt right in the ashtray. That's some amazing. Wow. That's how you know God is in the room at all times. That I had my hand right here. The blunt landed just like that. And it knew not to fuck with mine. Cause you will beat a bitch up. No. No. I'm not li I don't live my life like that. Let me ask you this. Why you why you start roasting the nigga new stewardess chick? That, I see that clip just keep coming up on the timeline. You asked about the stewardess. Yeah, let me clear that up for all these motherfucking flight attendants. That's what I'm saying. Because the always coming in my DMs, man. Bitch, I love y'all. Like, I don't have no issue with y'all, so y'all can start sizing me up when I get on a little Delta airplane trying to make me have a little word with you so I miss my flight and you could say you the flight attendant. They took it personal? Yeah, they took it personal. Did. 
bitch, this don't have nothing to do with you. Like, if, if, if I'm talking to my family, my nigga, whoever, I'm talking to them. Whatever insults I gave them, that's for them. Stop trying to take that shit personal and style grown for business. That like, might have been their friend. I don't give no fuck. Yeah. About nobody being nobody. Give me friend. the backstory. What happened? What oh, led up to that? Well, basically, uh, he was supposedly out eating tacos with some bitch. So, I, so he was like, oh, I just met up with her because, you know, she going through a lot of stuff. Her granddaddy died. So I'm like, fuck, nigga, is that your grandma? Damn. Like, you know no, you so, see, no. No, no. That's now let me finish. No, wait, stop right that's there. That's her grandma, that's not your grandma. Her grandma? Yeah. So and if you... your girl tell you she was out eating with another nigga while you was out of town because her granddaddy died, you cool with that? No. All right then. Nope. So, but you I'm know, saying I though. I asked him, is that your granddaddy? He said no. So I was like, um. He so was I being just, a good friend. So I just asked him, I was like, what your new hoe do? I just want to know, like, what your new hoe do? He's like, she a flight attendant. I was like, bitch, you is a loser. Like, bitch, you playing with me for a whole that sling peanuts? This bitch sling <laughs> peanuts, cold cups of water, seat belt, it's motherfucking cinders. And, and sanitizer wipes. Bitch, are you playing with me? Yeah. Like, I'm thinking he about to say he was out eating with Oprah fucking Winfrey, bitch. He playing with me with... And you know, it's, listen, to all my working girls, I fuck with y'all. Unfortunately, I never had the pleasure of having a job. Never? No. Mm-mm. God just didn't see it that way for me, I guess. He just didn't see it fit. Like, I was just about to say, you got to be one of God's favorite people. But I tried. Literally, my friends will tell you, like, my friends that was there with me, I remember sitting in my car crying some days, like, bro, why the fuck these people won't hire me? I'm going in my best dress. I'm getting my hair done. Everything to look nice and presentable, how they told me I'm supposed to look. This to fill out the application. This is not even for an interview. I never even made it to an interview process before. Like, never been called back. I spent like a whole year, like just fucking filling out applications places and going to. And school. then nobody called you. Man, no. You gotta work on your handwriting. <laughs> nobody That's all I can think of. They couldn't. They didn't, They couldn't read it. You must have wrote something no, in that space listen, that say "Do not write below some of this the line." Some of the applications, like, I got good penmanship, too. Y'all, listen, I don't know what it was. They just would not hire me. For so me. when you get to the part that say job experience, what you put right there? Shit, nothing. Did you write that in? Because <laughs> that might have kept you from getting hired. Too. Nah, but I'm just saying, everybody never had a job to they had one. So why, like, I got to start somewhere. First of all, Bitch, y'all need help. First of all, it said help, won't it? <laughs> I wanted to help. That's really why you need to hire me. I'm here to assist y'all. Y'all said y'all need help. Help, won't it? Hiring, I Well, let me tell you this. You're understaffed. You ain't miss shit. I didn't. You ain't miss a goddamn thing. All jobs is scams. Mm. They get you in there. They figure out exactly how much you need to get back in there, and that's how much they give you. And they can keep you there because they keep promising that they can put you on like they did when they first put you on. But check this out. If they hire you at $23, they ain't never going to give you no $23 raise. They going to $2 your ass to death. And then the crazy part is you will be thinking that you came up. They're like, nigga, I just got a $3 rate. Now I'm making 28 Like, nigga, you just got $6 worth of your taxes back. <laughs> yeah, like, nowhere will hire me. So I spent the whole year of filling out job applications, trying to get a job. And then, like, I blew up on Vine at the end of the year. Yeah, you blow up on all the social media, though. Yeah, and that's really hard to do. You just a likable motherfucker. Ah, uh, yeah, luckily, but that's hard to do, like. Cause I feel like everybody feel like they know you personally. That's the thing about it. And why you think that is? Because it don't like even the people who don't, don't follow you know exactly who you are. Right. You get what I'm saying? You just have a, you have the it factor. You're very, con you have the connectability. People can connect, they can feel you, because it's like, we all sharing the black experience. We all know somebody who reminds us of, and they're like, bro, she look just like, bro, don't she look like Brittany? Don't she look just like Brittany? Bro, I swear to God, she look just like my sister Brittany. Is that 
Okay. I could go for that. Yeah. Like, I feel like any birthday party you go to, all the little kids gonna run up to you and be like, can we spend night at your house? Children do love me. <laughs> Children love me. They love Old me men love food. you too? Mm. Ooh, that's, hey, 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 Tokyo. Hey, that's a woman right there. I ain't feeling right that though. My daddy ain't either. Hey, that's woman. Mm. I ain't feeling that though. My daddy ain't either. <laughs> yeah, your daddy. My daddy not feeling it. Man, I don't blame him. You don't want your daughter out here with no old ass niggas. My brother's not feeling it. Bro, I'll be like, look, you let me check my DMs and like shit. 50? I'll be like, girl, you like old niggas? You let me come in the house. Turn me off. <laughs> <laughs> not nobody 50. Hey man, old men is harmless. They put their time in. All they doing is looking and talking shit. They uh -uh. they making us better niggas just by saying the shit that mm -hmm. they say. You don't know the type of shit old niggas nah, say. Nah, my homegirls got sugar daddy. These new old niggas, they new. They want to fuck. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the nah. niggas who too old to fuck. They, they know they ain't gonna do no nah, fuck. Nah, them niggas, it's too high for them now, so they not fucking with it no more. It's them halfway old niggas now, like the niggas that's in their last years of 40, 50. Oh! That's why I'm defending us. I know. I'm telling y'all, it's the new old niggas. They still kind of young. Them old old niggas. Talk to them, Tokyo. Them old old niggas, Talk they, not them, sugar. they don't want to be sugar daddy. Yeah. Because no these young niggas. Yeah. Because the young niggas, they done started paying yeah. for the too. We but, ain't sugar daddies yet. We sweet and lows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's not true. We sweet on the low. We, we don't be tricking all out in public. <laughs> we tricking on the under. <laughs> Ain't no the cash young niggas, listen. We still the giving out cash money. We don't want no paper money. trail. You did give me $200. The bitch is lying. Where the money at? Where the money at? Check the cash app. Lay a cash app I sent to you for $46, didn't it? <laughs> Ain't no goddamn sugar daddy. I told you we sweet and low. I'm Ain't telling nobody you. never gonna know the good shit we did for no, you. No, you you not listening. I'm telling you. <laughs> Tell me. The young niggas, they got the shit sky high now. But it's because... What's the age range? No, like the young niggas. Like the niggas is 18 years old not buying pussy. What? Yeah. Whoa, this is breaking news. Listen. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> Tokyo just dropped a bombshell. Yeah. When this start happening? I got to tell you, all right, so boom. See, young niggas, they live their life so fast. Right because what people don't understand is buying pussy, that's a rich nigga sport. First of all, so like them little poor niggas, they really need to sit down somewhere because they just fucking up the feng shui or shit. See, when they start getting the money young, they not really paying for the pussy. What they they really for? like just paying the hoe to lead them along. Like, look, bitch, I just want to fuck you. Do not come trying to tell my girl I didn't fuck you and all that. Like, let's just fuck. I'm, you know, this the little money you asked for. And you know this, that we going to keep it like that. Everything copacetic, right? So then, the old niggas, right? They used to only really have to, you know, get a bitch little forty dollar hair did and her nails and toes. She a young bitch, she impressed, but bitches not really impressed by that no more because they could do that themselves. They want big shit, so it's it's too it's too much money for the old niggas. So now it's a new ballpark of young old niggas. That's them niggas from forty to like. I want to say from like 40 to like that 50 gap, right? I ain't them there niggas, yet. I told you, I'm right They up. still want to fuck. Line, That's what I'm telling you. Like, them niggas, they not just giving you their money because they want you, they want to talk about their wife for four hours and all that, and then you go home with a, you know, you, with your little dry cat and a pocketbook full of purse. Now these hoes got to leave with a sore throat, a wet ass, a wet cat, and a little bit of money. Bitches is going to Dubai and getting shitted on right now. Yeah, them little hoes y'all see in Dubai every week. You don't never see her with no nigga. She in Dubai every week. Yeah, she going out there getting shitted on. I know some shit eaters. Oh. Yeah. I, you just keep going. I don't got go nothing to say. Just they, go yeah, they getting, they, you got to think about it. They getting a 40. Every time they fly to Dubai to get shitted on. Coming back home, live it up, party with y'all, drink y'all 1942, Casa in y'all section. That whole fly out next day, private. You don't never see her with no nigga. You don't even see no videos of her enjoying no excursions. That hoe is flying there. She get out her job put on when she land, and that hoe is getting shitted on at night. Then she clean up and come on back to America. It's 
the American way. I don't want to be American no more. <laughs> so, yeah, what else happened? I don't know. I just feel like in the new America, we free, but this pussy ain't. Why not? Why? Who said, when did, who said y'all would start charging for pussy? I'm gonna tell you what it is. Like, to deal with the average man now, it just take way too much. Okay, well, how much is pussy then? Give me a number. Cause mm -hmm. fuck it, ain't nobody finna go through all this red tape and pink slip. <laughs> Drop the numbers so we can get together and see if we can come up with a counter offer or something. Different bitches, different prices. Oh, here we go with this shit. It's like a car. Okay. Some cars is gonna be two hundred fifty thousand. You right? That's the Maybach. Some cars, you can get you a cash car five hundred. Ooh, a clunker. You know. If you've been looking to level up your financial portfolio, it's always good to diversify. So why not think about cryptocurrency? Coinbase offers a trusted and easy to use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. Backed by the world's leading investors, Coinbase keeps your portfolio safe and secure while adding crypto into your mix. They offer portfolio management and protection, learning resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. They support the most popular digital currencies on the market and make them accessible to everyone. Whether you're looking to diversify, just getting started, or searching for a better way to access crypto markets, start today with Coinbase. For a limited time, new users get $5 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com forward slash 85 self. Sign up at coinbase.com forward slash 85 self for $5 in free Bitcoin. This offers for a limited time, so be sure to sign up today. That's coinbase.com forward slash 85 so. Hey, what's up? I'm Carlos Miller. They always say first impressions are important, but what about lasting impressions? Blue Chew can help with that. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. Yeah, it's all done online. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA, and they prepare and ship direct, so it's cheaper than the pharmacy. That's bluechew.com. Promo code 85 South to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Yeah. They sponsor this podcast. Bluechew.com. Because if you go there and you use the promo code 85 South, they're going to know you watch this show. And the same way they sponsor in this show, you'll be, that'll let them know that the ad worked. So if you use the promo code, they'll be like, oh, seeing a lot of that promo code. Those 85 South Show guys are really selling some Blue Chew. Hey, maybe we should make them partners. It won't be hard. Unless they're taking Blue Chew. You get it? It's a joke. Whatever. I'm a comedian, not a clown. BlueChew.com. 85 South is the promo code. Yeah, it's the number eight and a five. Capital South, so they know you mean business. And you might got you a nice little $30,000, $40,000 car, too. Oh, yeah, a little S-Class or something. Yeah. Yeah. Nice so. little Mercedes. Different vagina, different girl, different prices. There's some bikes out here too now. 10 speed. Think so? Mountain bikes. Well, so what exactly would a mountain bike be? <laughs> little Uber scooter. What's that little Uber scooter? A little Uber scooter? Little Uber scooter. Do they call them that? A little scooter? Them little scooters that you hit with your car that you could just ride through the city. The little Uber scooter. Yeah, yeah man, it's all kind of transportation out here. So what kind of girl would be classified as the Uber scooter? Shit, that ain't my decision to make. Cause you know, one man's trash is another man's garbage. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, wise words I live by my man Jack Thriller. Sometimes you just hear some shit that hits so deep. Cause I just feel like you never truly know, like in the new world we live in, everybody's kind of displaced. Especially like when you live in places like Atlanta and stuff like that. What's going on in Atlanta? No, like we live in Atlanta, so... I feel like for every 10 people you run into, probably only one or two of them are actually from Atlanta. Like, the average dudes I know from Atlanta, like, they not dating girls from Atlanta, for real. The girls I know from Atlanta, not really dating dudes from Atlanta. Yeah, because all the Atlanta dudes then took all the real Atlanta girls. Right, so this is what I'm saying, though. Yeah. But it's a new Atlanta girl that turned 18 and eligible every day. Yeah. So again, like, 
we live in a world where we live in a place where it's so many different people at all the different places you at, especially if you're somewhere that's worth being. You're gonna run into a bunch of people from a bunch of different places all coexisting inside of one place. So you a girl from Atlanta, you end up, you, you dating a dude from New York. You a guy from Atlanta, you dating a girl from New Orleans, a girl from Texas, a girl from, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, who are you to say what they was doing back in their city? You know, hey man, that's the thing, that's one of the rules of the game, bro. Once you move away, that shit don't count no more. Like, like it's no, really, it's like really. Like you can't, like once you, like you gotta move away and then none of the shit you did at home, whether you was a lame or a square, don't none of that shit matter. You just get a fresh, that's why people move. You yeah, need a fresh like start. imagine how many girls that you know from Atlanta or how many guys you know from Atlanta who was like original bottom feeders, like shit eaters that live somewhere else now. They married, big house, dog, right. children. And you like, damn, somebody really wiped this hoe? Right. It's somebody out there who is a hoe too. Yeah. Like it's some men hoes who find no, with whole I'm shit. I'm telling you what the scariest part is, when somebody moved to somewhere else, they can revamp and be whoever they want to be. She could have been right. the crazy bitch in her city that is doing this and doing that and really feel like I'm done with this part of my life or it could still be in that part of her life and move somewhere else and then you meet her and she the coolest bitch in the world. She got a clean slate here. Who right. Knows? But see, that's I say the shit and everybody gets in the uproar. Man, like niggas will tell you when they on the brown liquor. Hoes are some of the coolest people you'll ever meet. Yeah. Hoes be keeping it so real, they be under, like you were speaking that, that shit about what niggas go through. Hoes know everything a nigga go through. Yeah, because they be right there. Niggas is cool with them being right, right. there because they don't have to worry about, I can't talk to this bitch in front of that bitch I got. You can really be yourself. Man, hoes will bring some hoes. And be like, which one you like? They operate on a, in a different platform. So it's like, no matter what your past is, you can meet somebody who did just as much shit as you and be like, come on, nigga, I've been looking for a motherfucking rider. And she like, nigga, I got a car. And I'm like, I got a car too. But like, we don't need two cars. Somebody got to get in the car. It's like, you can find your, your counterpart. And some people don't give a fuck. Yeah. I tell people that. I tell all my homeboys that that's in relationships Look. that I don't feel like should be in relationships. I be like, bro, like, why y'all always trying to put monogamous people in poly relationships? Amen. I'm like, bro, you know it's people out here who this girl really met this guy and them two like to abuse children. What you the didn't, fuck? I'm just saying, like, you find somebody equally as weird and as sick as That's you. That's too weird. So you think you wouldn't be able to find a bitch who want to fuck hoes with you or a bitch that don't care if you with hoes? Check this out, though. People be out here complaining, right? In the regular dating scene, I'm talking about where you could go out and meet somebody in real life. Mm -hmm. Think about if you were so freaky, the only way you could meet people was on them internet groups. Not a fucking website. You gotta go specifically to the group and tell them, look, I'm looking for somebody that will pee on my feet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not in that group of motherfuckers. Well, you gotta join a group every time you need a new motherfucker. Hey, I need somebody who'll dress up in a costume with me every day and eat birthday cake. Like that type of specific but I'm ass freak. But they still be able to find it. So why you think you can't find you a woman? who into what you into. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But you trying to take somebody who only want to be with you, they don't want to be with nobody else. Right. And make them share you with other bitches. People with. get lazy. Like you could love, like love that person enough to go let them be with somebody who only want to be with them. And be honest in what you want. Yeah. Don't be playing with people. But that's why I say people got to meet people. People have to normalize meeting somebody and accepting that person for who they are. Yeah. And then if that person and who they are coincides with who you are, right. then y'all move forward. Not, I'm so physically attracted to this man and we had good sex and I'm so sexually attracted to him that everything else, I'm just gonna wing it. He gonna end up being who I want him to be. Right, and sex no. ain't love. A lot of people got to start learning that part. Yes. Sex is, the sex and love people, is not the same thing. People meet people and think they look so good or they sex so good that it's going to change the person and make the person be whoever they want. And it doesn't work like that. Nope. It can temporarily work like that, but eventually that person's just going to go to being who they actually are. Exactly, because you can't own people. You can only experience them. Mm -hmm. That's right. But you shouldn't want nobody that you own. No, nah, you, you like what listen. you like. I don't want nobody who want to be who, who's with me because they need me. 
Right. I don't want nobody to need me. I only want you to be with me because you want me. Because that's the only reason I'm ever going to be with you. Mm. It's because I want you. I'm never going to need you. That's right. So, I feel like when if relationships are built on, it's solely because we want each other. That's how we fall in love instead of survival. Because when y'all fall into these modes where I'm with you because I need you, now our relationship is based off of survival and not love. Right. A lot of people, that's what their grandparents was in. It's a lot of us, our grandparents didn't even sleep in the same room. Right. Or Stop later, staying with people for stupid reasons. Yes, or later leave. on at the funeral, they found out the children that they've been playing with their whole childhood is really their siblings, but both of their mamas just looked the other way like that shit wasn't going on. That's how you leave a legacy. Now, there ain't no fucking legacy. I mean, you could disagree, but I'm looking around at a lot of black men in this room, bro. Our granddaddy would want us to be more niggerish. No. If our granddaddy saw the shit we were doing, he'd be like, boy, y'all so goddamn scared of these women. <laughs> y'all ain't got but one goddamn baby and can't take care of that. <laughs> well, now your age, I had 11 kids and three families. They had a job making $22 an hour. You niggas is lazy. <laughs> Out here telling these women the truth. God. My kids stayed across the street from each other 22 years, didn't even know it. I had to die. I had to die for a summer bitch to find out. I was a member of the church for 32 years and I sung solo every Sunday. Nobody ever knew. I had four families in that church. I had to die for a summer bitch to find out. <laughs> Why you think your grandma didn't say nothing? Come my dick was long, son. It wasn't hard. Now they I was getting your grandma $3 a week. He gonna say, cause your grandma ain't had no more fucking money. Right. She ain't had nothing but some fucking children. That's why Grandma she wasn't going Grandma believed in nowhere. herself, man. I'm telling you, I'm just, we're a whole generation of niggas who just, we can't even keep one woman. Granddaddy had six women, four church members. <laughs> no, that's because a lot of niggas mind. They want to be taken care of. They don't want to do the taken care of. Man, I know what you mean. I saw a girl, she had a flat. On 285. That nigga bought was sitting in the car while nigga she had to, was down Nigga down. was in the passenger seat with the seatbelt on. <laughs> that means he ain't never even attempt to get out of I wanted, I wanted to stop by so yeah. bad and be like, that's who you fucking? That's who you fucking? No, no. That's what you doing with your pussy. This nigga didn't even attempt to, if the seatbelt on, he didn't even attempt to get out the fucking car and see. Boy, you know the worst nigga in the world? Passenger seat nigga who be laid back and then you see the chick and then that nigga lean up. I hate that nigga, bro. <laughs> I can't stand that nigga, bro. Do you understand how much of a pussy you look like raising up in a kill, nigga? <laughs> she with somebody, bro. Nigga, you her little boy. You her son, nigga. Get in the car seat. Nigga, sit He's back. He's about getting the car seat. Tokyo already said she taking care of you, nigga. <laughs> You want to hope a nigga breeze through here and help you out, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's capped, though. I ain't taking care of no nigga. All right, flip the script, yeah, then. Listen, what if about... My, if my daddy... If my daddy... What right daddy? If my daddy... They done called her daddy up here. Oh. Uh, we just up here talking. Shout out to Tokyo Daddy. One of these niggas that's with me, he one of my partners that's with me, even think I'm taking care of a nigga. That Bruh, shit is over with. As soon as I said that shit about them old niggas, they called her daddy. Yeah, Lo said something about the old niggas. <laughs> that nigga came up here with the t-shirt on. Hold on, I'll be up there. I'll be right up there. Where my goddamn towel at? I'll be up there. Come on, give me a blue jean. Give me a blue jean. <laughs> I might have to do an episode with your dad. That's an old school you nigga. He got some. Here. That's a real OG over there. I bet he got some stories. Man, what do he? That nigga surprised me All with right. a new story. Flip the script. What about the men that's taking care of broke women with no ambition? I not see. I see when you added broke and no ambition. See, that's a problem. That's the, don't nobody ever speak on that. No, I just feel like it's it's really not our fault because a lot of men, not all men, but it is a big group of men who they really only go after women for like what they look like because they already feel like it don't matter, like I got money. So it's really not her job to have to do anything. I feel like it more so be like men who are not financially up there that really care like about if she could do something or not. If you ask me, like that's normally like when it be like that because the average man who like, 
just having his way, he having money, like he not even worrying about what this bitch have. It's more so, you know, but women, I don't give a fuck if she got money, don't got money, almost got some money, like, you know, we are raised to be with a man who can provide. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I think that's how I go. And it's like nobody's putting a gun to y'all. Just like ain't nobody putting no gun to these bitches' hands telling them to be with these broke-ass niggas. But also, as a man with money or a man with status, whatever it is that you have, nobody telling you go be with a, a broke bitch that don't have nothing. It's what you choosing to be with for whatever reasons it is that you like her. Who is you? No, just... I'm, I'm just saying. All my niggas not, ain't high. You know? <laughs> We, we only taking shots at women. We don't know that they don't want us off the top. We out here convincing motherfuckers for the better. We like the National Guard. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Well, one week in a month, two weeks a year. Wait a minute. Nah, man. But first of all, you, people got to stop t- trying to be with people for, you know, objects and things and what they mate can do for you. It's like... You got you to gotta embrace the person, man. Yeah. Stop being selfish with your broke ass. Not your money, your spirit. That's true. You got to be right spiritually, bro. You, if you're not happy, you can't be happy with nobody else. Whatever wrong with you, you about to bring it to the whole house and everybody going to be unhappy, even the kids. Bro, the kids I don't even you. come out the room. They know y'all on bullshit. <laughs> you see how kids' mood change when, they, when the parents show up? My mom here. Man, what the hell been going on over here? <laughs> Nothing. My daddy be sleep, but he be mad all the time. What he mad about? I don't know. He just said he tired of this goddamn shit. Oh, y'all need to come over here for a weekend. There's a lot going on over here. Telling you. Telling you, man. Bring some happiness in the black community. That's why this show been so successful. That's all we do is, you know, that's why we wanted to get you on here and let you know that we see the moves that you're making. And you know what I'm saying? I, when I heard the song, I was like, man, I got to get Tokyo on here, man. May the best pussy win. That's the theme of my whole song. Wait, what? May the best pussy win. That's, That's the, the theme. theme. Yeah, pool part yeah. and everything. Okay, Cook so out. really, Pick what me. it is for me, right, is I feel like I really just be saying shit that it's really what's going on. Party music. Yeah, but no, this shit is really what's going on. Okay. Like. It's a lot of women who are knowingly and not knowingly sharing dick. So I feel like it's more women who knowingly know than women who don't, for real. Hey, man, some people know what it is. Yeah. Some women don't want you. Some pe- Hey, it's easy to get a job when you got a job. Mm-hmm. So I just said, <laughs> so I just did the song, and I just said, you know, man, the best pussy when you got to share that dick. Because I just feel like... That's what's gonna happen well, anyway. It's, that's what's happening, and with what's better, it's, it's gonna speak for itself. Okay, let me ask you this. In the perfect world, just say some men just made better decisions all the yes. way around. To y'all's standards, what would this look like? What would it look like? Uh, it you need like- niggas so you can blame shit on. <laughs> no. Yeah. Y'all I think need it would really niggas just be like- so you can blame shit on. Niggas taking over. Quit going through a nigga phone. Hey, leave all of my shit alone. Hey, if you want to be on your own, say that. <laughs> say that. <laughs> a lot of women make themselves unhappy, too. Because niggas be out here doing the best work that they can do. You go looking for shit and making up shit in your mind. catching the beat, too. There's only so many times you can blame a nigga for doing some shit before a nigga do it. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna you blame do shit. shit my way. What? No, Little it's not gonna happen. Bitch, I don't play. Come on. Ooh, I hit you with the K. No, you won't. And I end your bitch day. Come on. So don't call my phone. Come on. When I get home. Come on. It's another nigga here. Hey, he Ooh, could be bitch, there. You thought I was alone. Period. Hey, he could be there. Cause you just talking your shit. One thing about black women, they don't shoot good dick. Hey, she might pull out a gun. Hey, and act a fool in the yard. Hey, and then when you say, girl, cut the bullshit, 
and you stare at her real hard, she gonna look at that meat. You saying girls don't shoot no dick? What's the good if you coming quick? We don't give a fuck about no dick. Cause y'all dick be making a bitch sick. You lying on me. My dick good and registered in Tennessee and Mississippi and Alabama. I won awards in Florida for having a prettiest dick well, in the contest. I, heard I want a ribbon. Your dick ain't got no paper. <laughs> you a lie. Well, we ain't trying to date you. We, we don't want to date y'all either. No <laughs> we don't want to date we y'all either. We don't need no nigga to date. We don't need no nigga tomorrow. No, you can't drive my car and I ain't got no fucking money to borrow. That's okay, cause my homeboy said the head whack anyway. That's okay, cause my homeboy said the head whack anyway. Cause he met you back two summers ago when you first met in the city. You got drunk at the pool party and pulled out both for your titties. Hold up, hold up. He showed me the video. Good head ain't dead. <laughs> Y'all niggas just ain't got bread. Good head ain't dead. These niggas just ain't got bread. You must don't know. 400 million views on the 85 South show. Coming up quick. Money real long, but it ain't longer than my dick. Well, not yet. My money come up to my dick neck, but my dick still taller. You don't believe me? Call her. I had an old school chick named Paula. She put me up and bought me an Impala. She said, Lo, won't you call her? I said, no. I hit her from the front of the boxers with the dick hole. She said it don't get old. She want to hit me for fun, but she can't this weekend. She got a grandson. <laughs> He ain't got no money in the bank. If you wear the drawers with the little hole, your booty stank. She lying. Those was Calvin Klein. <laughs> and they cost 109 for the three pack. Google it. You probably gonna see that with the athletic band. <laughs> I was on like leg steel with the meat in my hand, Calvin but the ball Klein still tucked. With a shit stain. <laughs> All y'all niggas the same. Trying to find a little cute bitch to blame. But we don't give a fuck, like Wayne. Niggas spend the night. Have a spend the night bag with some man wipes. Yeah, <laughs> niggas got wipes these days. Cause niggas ain't playing and then take a blue chew. Then hit her with the meat. And meat. now she been blowing up the phone all week. And a homegirl said, ooh, he's so sweet. Didn't even know she sent them titties last week in the DM. <laughs> Leave them on the request, but I seen those breasts. She said, if it don't work out, I wish you the best. And you can come over here and get the rest. So I'm like, hold on. Are y'all yeah, friends? Be broke. She laughed yeah, and too. then sent the coochie again. I ain't finished. Hold on. You need to know about your friend. You think she your best one, but she said I can pin it when I want to and leave it on her chest. I'm the best one. And you didn't know that your friend sent the titty to the DM. My homeboy said, let me see him. Said, no, nah, they ain't supposed to be up in here. Let me tell you about your man. <laughs> so go ahead. Let me tell you about your man. Go ahead. You don't understand. Come on. I'm going to tell you about your man. I know. Hollin' out with the mouth do. We on the internet. We see he like boys, too. Who? 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 She. No. Who? You don't understand. Please don't cut me off. I don't know that nigga. Done. That ain't my man. Say, you know I got my way. I don't know that nigga. Oh, you don't know that nigga. I don't know that nigga. Huh? I tell you one Talking more game. Talking about gig. he gonna kill me cause I'm with another nigga. He ain't killed the niggas who killed his nigga. Wait a minute, Word that's too me? far. That's too motherfucking oh, oh, right. far. <laughs> oh. I don't know what <laughs> yeah, happened. It wasn't nothing that. to do with yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. You take shit oh, too I, far. Oh, oh. You take shit oh, okay. way too far. Oh, we was having fun, uh, and we was talking shit, uh, and then shit yeah. got personal. Yeah, okay. I yeah. wonder why you kept talking about a specific nigga. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, because these, these responses sound too personal. I can't come back for all the shit this nigga did. None of that was general. That was real specific, Tokyo. No. 
All you didn't do was say that nigga name. I don't uh -huh. know. Look, bruh, hey, bruh, you gotta come up here and write your own freestyle. That's not whatever true. Whatever the fuck she got going on. That's not true. I can only tell you about what I seen. If I was talking about Shana, Man. I don't, whatever. Who, whoever that, I don't know. Nah, just <laughs> don't know, don't know them like. people. I don't know them people. See, that's uh -huh. why I can't be around you too long. You like, get to talk. Because you be getting to talking yeah, shit and then you. Funny time. I, ain't no yeah, I know. You wanted to say my friend sent your titties. She All did. I told you was this nigga like niggas. I don't know that nigga. That's what oh, I am saying. You saw what I was doing. I was looking at titties. And then you're going to bring that up and try to bring. Don't put that on me. Back to like I was saying, you thought I was playing. Like the video your, your homegirl sent. At first it was one tit with the hand on the other. And then she sent the other. She's a motherfucker. She can't stand your ass. She can't stand your ass. Cause every time you go out, y'all act like you don't see her. She can't what? stand your ass. Titty this, titty that. Y'all niggas so wet. What? With them big ass bags, getting on my fucking nerves. Who? And y'all niggas be pervs, talking to these young ass girls. Now here you go, see? <laughs> That's why I didn't want to freestyle with you no more. You two don't play about shit like this. <laughs> fucking crazy ass. Bleep this, bleep this. <laughs> Damn, Tokyo. All right. You just, you too rambunctious. Well, you should have said that before we started rolling. I, no. Dickory, dickory, doc. Uh, see, that might mean the something else, too. Clean up the clock. <laughs> Bitch, I'm finna pull out this Glock. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> 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 Fuck quit. it, just do it for the streets just one time. Just beep it out, beep nah, it out. Nah, fuck it, do it for the streets mm -hmm. one time. Pull the Glock out. <laughs> I'm riding with Tokyo. <laughs> She got a whole bunch of guns. She be like, shit, which one? I'm like, the police is out here. She didn't really give a fuck because she's from Louisiana. I think she shot two niggas in Alabama. I don't know. Maybe, because you know that her ass so crazy. In every song, My something go Tokyo. wrong. I don't give a fuck. I just pulled up in a big ass truck. My name's Tokyo. And I don't love these hoes. I love a nigga with at least 12 fucking goals. That's oh. that hood rat shit. I love that shit. T, you know, that's why you be talking that I shit. Oh, all right. Because you be fucking with niggas with 12 goals. But I was lying. I'm just lying. No, ready. now you lying. Now you lying. Because I like diamonds in his teeth. So you really just like about three or four niggas. Nah, I'm just playing. I like pretty straight white teeth for real. That's what's up. That's my thing. That's what I like. Tell let them know what you like. Keep I going. I just told him you didn't hear. Okay, well, fuck it then. Hey, Tokyo looking for a nigga with all his teeth, even his baby teeth. Yes. Pretty teeth. Pretty teeth. As long as they're pretty. Teeth. Have a mouthful of teeth. And taller than me, would be six feet taller. For real? Yeah. All right. I, I ain't in there. <laughs> I don't even, hey. Mm-mm. No, yes, I do. I need a tall man, because I'm tall. Get you one. Tall girl. How's that been working out, you and tall nigga? It's been going pretty good. You know, For real? it's my third day. It's the day tallest out nigga you done ever ran into out here. The tallest nigga like I ever dated? Yeah. Mm, six, nine. What's your success rate with tall niggas? What you mean? Like, how, how successful are these relationships? The ones with short niggas don't go anywhere either. Oh, because I bet. They're oh. more successful. I think I've had some more successful um, relations with tall men than short men. I feel like you put your hands on short men. No, I don't put my hands on anybody. No, nah, because you talk with your hands, and I know it ain't shit for you no, to put them I on somebody. I talk with my hands, but I do not. And it ain't, sh ain't, ain't shit funny until your girl choking the shit at no, you, like, and you I, can't I get out. Because she's six feet tall. I'm with not no into that. Little nigga. Right, babe, babe. Okay. No domestic okay. violence. You done broke a nigga phone before? Uh uh, nope. You just saying that because your dad over there, he don't know the type of shit she really this be doing. This man be on a mission with me if I'm on a mission. Boy, we finna wrap this up, bro. Cause <laughs> ain't no way you supposed to toll on your daddy like that. He, <laughs> he ain't even look up, man. God damn it. What, what time this over? What time this over? They got enough footage, god damn it. Telling on me and shit. <laughs> Bring me a motherfucking bill or something. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna no. shut this whole shit down. He don't even know we up here bullshitting. 
Unplugged DJ that shit. joke pop down, girl. We, he don't know we can meet. You see, you heard the killer laugh. Where did the camera go off? <laughs> Keep this shit rolling. <laughs> Where can they find your music and all the good shit at? Y'all can find my music on any music streaming platform, and my handle is always gonna be Tokyo X Vanity. Hey, that was dope freestyling with you. That shit was fun. Oh, yeah. thank you. Like, we be getting people in here, they don't never want to fuck around and shit, but you came in here on fire. First of all, one more time, because you dropped, you dropped some games that niggas can pick up. Oh, thank you. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You, you said what needed to be said in a way that niggas can, can respectfully disagree with it. Mm. Or agree. You know, niggas gonna dig deep and become better niggas. I don't care. Yeah, but it, see, that's the thing. That's the best thing about being a nigga. It don't take but one day to be a good one. Mm. You can change your life in one day, nigga. It's up to you, nigga. It's up to you. Hey, nigga, I used to be a nigga like you. You listening to me? Look at me. I used to be you. I was a nigga all the time. Just, just out here being a nigga. Just being a nigga for nothing. And then one day I woke up and I was like, you know what? There's a better way to do this. Mm. And I became a better nigga. I turned into a magnificent nigga. Now look at me. Look at me now, baby. Nobody can throw this nigga nothing. I'm the new Bobby Brown. <laughs> huh? Yeah, niggas, no. Oh. God damn, don't nobody, don't nobody ever remember Bobby before this shit. The nigga was great. He, He's still great. I'm saying, he was great, great. But I'm saying, though, no, I'm not on this shit. You got something to talk about? No. Uh -huh. You just, it's Listen, so this is a S-A-F-E-P-I-C-E. -E. I don't, I don't believe it. You could tell, you could talk to me. You've been so therapeutic. Go ahead, just go ahead, let it out, tell me. Just being here with you, Tokyo, has been so therapeutic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's and at just... what age did you realize that? All right, Tokyo, you just really want me to just flat out say it, huh? Yeah. I like big, fine women. I'm sorry. You came in here with the right energy. Look how Aaron niggas ain't stopped smiling since you got here. That's what they better do. That's you... the smart thing to do. Don't feel like you intend. It's, it's no, no, no. It's, it's like when. No, yes, that's You got what that you calming spirit. Yes, I thought you were letting me tell you. I'm telling you. This is my experience, Tokyo. All right, come on. All right. Let and then, me. after hearing the music, I knew the energy was going to be right. Mm. Listen to that. I ain't seen niggas this happy since 2018. <laughs> you really came through and gave us a straightener. We're going to be better. Y'all don't even know the type of shit we've been doing behind the scenes as niggas. Mm. We got some new shit coming out. We got a. They we, said the new niggas come out August. 23rd. Not the new niggas. We got a new nigga stimulus plan that we've been working on. And yeah, the new black men. Come out August twenty third, so y'all better tighten up. Well, we don't even worry about them niggas because they gonna have to be. get with. They gonna have to get with this or you get left. Be. I'm telling you, the way that we about to execute this plan, we've been working on. If you're not following the SOPs, the standard operating procedures, you're not gonna get no pussy because we cutting everybody off and we going to direct. Mm. You're gonna threaten us with some new niggas August 23rd. Well, I hate to tell you this, but July 27th, we got some new women coming out. <laughs> yep, July 27th. Y'all gonna be a whole month behind. Yeah, but they said the new women that's coming out are super fertile, so. But that's, you see, you just going by I'm what just telling you they what, said. I'm telling you what the article said. I read it. Then you first come in here and say niggas been getting money. Yeah, that's what y'all don't know. Ever since the pandemic hit, niggas done paid up 37% of back child support. We got a black man coalition that's doing amazing you said 37? shit. Yes, we got a Out plan. of 100%? Yeah. So that's not even half. It right. was zero. It was at zero. And this, those numbers from two weeks ago, we might be at 40 something now. Yeah. We got some work that we've been doing All behind right. the scenes. We've been teaching niggas how to read so niggas out loud. Getting, <laughs> niggas been getting multi-thousands of dollars for the last two years.
Yeah, yeah but we invest in the education, though. Yeah, right. Yeah. We teaching niggas how to read out loud. Okay. That's what's been missing from the community, that. too. We got a lot of things going on. I could go for that. July 17th. July 17th? Yes, sir. First of all, we starting in making. Yeah. Black Men Coalition will be present. I'm coming in some way. Yeah. New women will be out July 27th. Mm. All niggas going to be outside. And we have been working on getting our shit together, too. We actually trying to get in touch with Joe Biden and, uh, you know, Miss Harris. I don't like to say her first name because I feel like she earned Miss Harris at this point. So Miss, we trying to get with Miss Harris and see if we could, uh, I'm talking about Kamala. I don't want y'all to pick the wrong. Yeah, so we trying to see if we could get like a stipend or something where niggas can get some assistant living and some housing or something so they don't have to be staying in that old girl crib so much. And, and I was seeing if I could pitch some, uh, some stipulations and regulations and try to get some legislation in line to see if we could do like, if we could do like some kind of cash car program and get niggas their own cars too. We'll take some 05s, 05 to 07. Well, they say when the new niggas drop, it won't even be no bitches outside. First of all, when the new niggas come out, they not gonna have a driver's license. Yeah, cause they come with chauffeurs. The new niggas, they already come with money. First of all, I don't know, I don't know where that's you think. Sense. I don't the think. Ones, they come with money already. No, nope. that's what y'all don't understand. And they own house. We have and started. No children. We got a program. Baby mama drama. Yeah. No three other girlfriends. <laughs> Keep clapping, because that means our program is working. I didn't mean you didn't even let me get to the Secret Service part of the niggas where we got, oh, boy, we got some niggas we created, we recreated, oh, boy, boy. that's going to be in undercover for the next five yeah. years as new niggas. Yeah. Shout out to our <laughs> agents. So I guess niggas say the same about the new bitches, right? Uh-uh. We got these. you know we always are... two steps ahead of y'all. No. Why you think the new bitches come out before the new niggas? Because we right. was on it. These right. are the bitches 2.0 nano that you guys are about to get. <laughs> no, nah, see, y'all just dropping them just like clones they come in the matrix. You said they come bitches. With 5G? We got some grown women coming out. Them hoes. Yeah, hoes they too. different. They different. I swear to God, they different. No. Grown women. Mm -mm. What? Those are just our hoes. You know how motherfuckers join the church. And now they blossoming. Some into women. women have turned their back on the movement, like, we sorry. We was lying too. <laughs> Take us in the house. We want to ride in the truck. I give up. The whole life is exhausting. I did some street shit, but this is how much pussy I got left. If you want it, you're welcome to all of it by yourself. I don't want to suck another dick. Well, y'all niggas Take don't get that for y'all. They don't work no more. I'm sick of flying. Y'all don't get that for y'all. don't work no more. At least I would still be working on Man, this. a nigga will figure something out. That's the, that's the thing about it. Shout out to BlueChew.com, bringing a lot of niggas back. Bringing a lot of niggas back. Bringing a whole lot of niggas back, you know. <laughs> Fucking eyebrows off at this point. Breaking records. Yeah, we got a lot of shit. You just didn't know what we had. Look at the poster behind you. You see the superhero shit we on? Mm -hmm. Guess who we going to help? Niggas! <laughs> you know when, home, when you think a nigga lying? And he really telling the truth? We the ones who show up and we corroborate the whole story. No, before you put the nigga out, watch this video. <laughs> Look at the clock. Your nigga is leaving. That car of bitches you thought he was with drove the fuck off. There's three niggas standing there talking for two hours about the bitches that they did not get. This Clock is the twist. one time your nigga Clock is telling twist. the truth. Stand right there, pre-recorded. This is live club nah, footage, that shit man. Is Pre-recorded. Oh, okay. Look, this is straight from the club. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what we gonna do then? We gonna fly back and get the women that you actually thought they had. Look, she's still asleep, look. How you know what she had? I know her, cause I'm her, I'm fucking her, that's why. <laughs> you done accused your nigga of fucking my bitch. I didn't want that part to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the niggas that told the truth that one time and still got treated like a liar. I'm talking about you swear to God on your mama and she still didn't believe you. But it was true that time. No, you know, it's crazy. A nigga really could come inside and she be like, where you been at? He been like, out cheating. And, and 
he could be dead ass serious and she gonna be like, boy, you're so fucking stupid and go lay it out. And then when they come out, he gonna be like, bitch, I told you that day when you asked. Why well, was that? I was out cheating. And that be the one time what, I told the truth. In same scenario. What should he have come home and said? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? What should he have? He shouldn't have even been out cheating. At all. But like, mean? who are these niggas that you talking about? Like, why you gotta do that? That's the only then thing. Then I think what aggravated me so bad is I ain't never hollered at no nigga before. Like, these niggas be coming out of nowhere bothering me. That's a lie. These are lies from the pits of hell. This low down nigga that made this whole statement. We call him at a bitch house. Who? The black, what's the, um... The black Who got, dude. Look, that's a Carlos Miller. Yeah. Don't be lying on me. Oh, okay, whatever. You ain't Carlos. calling me at no bitch house. Yeah. Nope. The black men don't cheat movement. Mm-hmm. You see it? You mad? That is a lie. You breathing the different now. Like, what's that the, is a lie. What's the what? From what's the all the, what's all the extra of breath? Hell. That is lies from the pits of hell. You Man. a lie and the truth ain't it. Come on. Come on. Come on with some more. You a lying the truth, ain't it? Look how God built niggas. We built for this. I said earlier, y'all need niggas to blame all this shit on. We did everything. Me we me. did everything. If niggas is so low down and did all this cheating, you are very who were they cheating with? You are very true. Who was niggas cheating with? Bitches that don't know they in relationships. Okay. What about the ones who did? Yeah, them hoes ain't shit either. Man, if y'all be thinking niggas, women, don't be like, I saw you like your friend. She was cute with that little old lady wig on. <laughs> <laughs> Selena, I'm entertaining this. You Whatever. Get the weed. Look, one thing about life that's guaranteed, if you're a human being and you're dealing with other people, Sometimes they gonna fuck off. Sometimes you gonna fuck off. It's the rate of probability. Sometimes you win some, but y'all don't you be lose forgiving, some. Though. Hey, it ain't about what we do. No, nah, cause Clearly. why you can't forgive me if I dipped off too? Go ahead. It's, go and fuck that nigga. Get go it ahead, over with. Ty, Go ahead. What, what, what's gonna happen when you run into the nigga that's gonna catch you cheating and it's gonna make you stay just because he saw how happy you was with the other nigga? He gonna stay out of spite. Well, you can just go and leave me. No, the fuck I ain't. We finna work all this shit out. We going to therapy. We finna drink some water around this motherfucker. We going to bed at 9.30. I'm sick of this shit. We going to get in the church. Ain't no more cheating. I'm, I'm getting a new phone. Fuck leaving. Fuck leaving. You think you about to leave me for this nigga? This nigga got abs. Abs in his motherfucking nigga. Chest muscle. No. 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 My son look just like me. Just like me. No. No, we finna work this out. We finna move, we going to Tennessee. That's it, we moving to Nashville. We moving to Nashville. You done showed your ass in Atlanta. No, you gonna go we to Nashville. We moving to Nashville. To I'm finna get this job at AT&T. Fuck all that bullshit. Yeah, I, I want my family back. Yeah, I want my family back. Why y'all be wanting y'all family back? I want back? my family, fuck that shit. You what walked I'm, out on I'm the I'm supposed family. to be fucking a bitch tonight, but I ain't going. I'm staying here with nah, your ass. Uh -uh. We finna work this shit out. No. We finna talk. We Go. gonna talk, talk you to you. wanna leave? Talk to me. Leave. Mm -mm. Ain't no leaving. No, mm -mm. look at that. You said on, on everything. You done went, put that shit on God. You put that on God. Uh -huh. We ain't going nowhere. No, no. You sleep upstairs, I'm sleeping downstairs. Ain't going nowhere. Uh-uh. Hell no. Then after y'all get caught cheating, y'all wanna stay inside for three days cleaning up. Nigga. Bitch, don't clean That's up now. That's because, hey. The we, house clean. We need some stability. The house, we don't need no laundry. Right. The house Keep coming nigga, today. you, you think nigga for? cleaning up his punishment? Nigga trying to clean up and see what the fuck went wrong. How she catch me? How the fuck? She, what she found? How what she found? Man, that bitch found a piece of gum. Ooh, it was the gum. The gum is what fucked the whole master. Hey, bro, this bitch found the napkin with some lipstick. Oh, this what got me fucked up. I cleaned the whole house up, threw the bitch panties away and everything. It was the lipstick on the motherfucking napkin. <laughs> Took me three days to find this shit. <laughs> nigga, the, in the fucked up part, it'd be a nigga like J-O-N over there, high with you, bro. It was a napkin. It was a napkin. It was a motherfucking napkin, bro. Y'all always got one dumb ass on. Damn, bro. nigga, like, why you throw this shit away? No, no I listen, thought that was not no, like listen, it was listen, you don't understand. The homeboy be more upset than your nigga when he <laughs> y'all broke up. Nigga, what? what? Just go through some. <laughs> the nigga be more to be like, 
Well, which one the fuck are you? Are you? Because why you campaigning so hard for this nigga? Like, Bro, it's always one homeboy mad as fuck y'all broke up. God damn! I guess we ain't going to Jamaica now. <laughs> now I sent my four hundred dollars last week. <laughs> I'm still going. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Hey man, hey, whatever y'all got going on, bro, I pay my money. <laughs> fuck man, man, we supposed to. Oh, now, now, old girl gonna be acting crazy. <laughs> Cause her friend ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's dead ass. The friend be so upset. Like when you first break up, you know it's a chain of commands. Who gonna call first? Now if he real, real close with his mama and he be by himself all the time, she gonna call. But see, if he got that one fucking homeboy, he gonna call, he gonna say you hurt too and, and you always be around this nigga so it's cool. That nigga gonna call you and he gonna really campaign for your nigga like for a whole hey, hour. Now let me tell you, tell you what you, happened up before calling. that happened. When that nigga call you, that's the last straw. They done tried everything. <laughs> they done tried everything. Hey, I know you probably don't wanna talk to bro, but just, can you just call him? He call you, you looking at the phone like, why the fuck is Spank calling me? This nigga don't even talk when he around. I ain't never even heard this nigga talk before. This nigga ride in the back seat all the time like the shooter. He mad murder, ready to go at all times. He barely ever even talked around y'all. This nigga call you, yeah, hey sis, how you doing? <laughs> you like, damn man, this nigga can articulate well. He just don't be talking. That nigga open up his mind, sound like Plies. Plies real voice. Hey, nigga be going through it. Y'all don't never see the part where nigga be fucked up. When? When is that? Man, nigga be sick than a motherfucker. After you cheated? No, if a nigga get caught cheating, that, nigga, that shit will way off in 24 hours. 24 hours. That nigga might not wake up to 4 o'clock that next evening. Nigga gonna wake up and then that be Trying to sleep it off. That nigga gonna wake up and realize he in that bed by himself. Like, what the fuck happened? The fucking napkin. <laughs> fuck. Nigga be going through it, bro. You lose your woman. So how's like the first 24 hours that we leave y'all? Hey man, the first 24 hours is, I say about the first 36 hours is fun. Cause nigga just be enjoying the peace. I don't gotta hear shit. And then, that one nigga get sad. <laughs> nigga sad, bro. Cause everything like, that's when a nigga realize that he really likes your big head ass. It's like everything, like when the, when the nigga girl gone, all that shit remind like her favorite commercial come on. All the commercials be all the shit she used to do. And I'm like, shit that you ain't never seen no commercials for. Do you remember this shit? The shit your girl used to do? <laughs> you get on social media, her mama, her uncle, her dad. Like, God damn, they ain't never popped up on my feed. Her little cousin that told you to follow her that time, you be like, man, they got every goddamn body. <laughs> Don't let your bitch be on social media having too much fun. We know exactly when the new nigga showed up. Y'all think y'all out, like, celebrate being single, bro. We see you doing shit you ain't did in four years. You your old self. Bro, when your girl go out and make all them videos with the selfie, and then she take the picture and you see a nigga elbow, <laughs> That nigga elbow be this motherfucking big. Like, who is this bitch out with? She out with Thanos. This nigga, she, look, she done took the, the most beautiful ass picture. All you see is this on the goddamn armrest. Nigga, veiny than the motherfucker. He like, who is this nigga? And he's so cool. Oh, too. man. He so, the first niggas that you fuck with after you and a nigga break up. Hey, man. Oh, my God. They be so cool. It don't they matter. They be a breath of fresh air. They be everything that you have not Because that's the fucked up part. So Y'all be leaving like, us for better niggas. Like... They really be, y'all don't, it. they be everything, y'all. Y'all be leaving they us be for so way sweet, better niggas. They be they compliment you deserve all him. Day. That's the part that hurt. Like, you done left us for some better that shit. That nigga keep calling you every day to go somewhere and do something. He want to show you all of your other nigga. This nigga used to have you at home. He in the club with his boys and other hoes. This new nigga, he in the club with you. Bruh. The new nigga time, then took her to do some shit she been asking you to do for years. As soon as y'all break up, this bitch skin. <laughs> Who? <laughs> she done asked 
asked you for four years about parasailing. And you, can you talk to her? I ain't doing no goof ass shit like that. The new nigga done took her parasailing. They up in the thing. Then don't let you meet the nigga and he not no square nigga too. This a Man. nigga, he just like you. He fly, he into the same shit. This but nigga, however big you are, he bigger than you. If you 6'5", this nigga 6'9". If you 7 foot, that nigga 7 foot. I don't give a fuck how see, that women go bigger. No, but what we I'm just be left with like, who's still fucking with but us. But it be in her. Nigga be in shamba. We be like, I gotta put a bitch together. I got some good head over here. <laughs> and some decent pussy. But it hurts. I don't you like me a lot of them. She was scared with this nigga. And they did it to the Young Thug song. Yeah, yeah. She done went viral on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. All your homeboys in the comments, we see you, sis. <laughs> nigga, y'all supporting a new relationship? Oh, bro, cool as fuck, bro. He done, he done already hit me. He got tickets to the game and everything. Who this nigga play for? Nigga, your team. Nigga, your team. We in that bitch. Now these niggas fans of teams you ain't even know they like, nigga, the Bulls going all the way. That nigga play for the Bulls. <laughs> I'm fucking the little fat bitch upstairs. <laughs> I can get on my feet. She got a nigga. I just go to this when he be in work. Send me something. Send me something. Cash at me. Shit. Then your homeboy be like, bro, you didn't take them sweatpants off, bro. I seen you in them about two days. You scratching in this business. <laughs> nigga, that game been on power for two days, bro. What's up, bro? You ain't ate nothing. Come on, bro. Get up. Get up, bro. Don't smoke nail on the black, bro. She gone, my nigga. That nigga about that nigga, that nigga tall as a that motherfucker. That nigga grab that photo screen been saying wasted for four days. <laughs> Where y'all meet the nigga at? Man, the nigga got us in the club last night. Cool nigga. <laughs> Square nigga, you alone. Like, nigga, don't say that. Get out my house. But don't let it be a nigga that's just as cool as you and he doing all the shit you told her was lame. That you nigga, got, that that nigga, nigga living a better version you of your got life. Skin. You got the charger. He got the helmet. You looking at this you nigga six, like this fucking with speed and all. <laughs> your girl on Snapchat doing this for 10 clips. <laughs> <laughs> he hitting that bitch with baby girl. No seatbelt, nothing. They listening to young boy and everything. And your son in the back what? seat. <laughs> he dancing like a motherfucker. <laughs> Your son of a bestie climbing. Standing up. <laughs> he can't stand up because the nigga going so fast, he's just smiling so you, you hard. You telling me that nigga ain't going to hurt? Niggas is hurt. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. No, don't let you be a rapper and her new nigga really can rap. Oh, he was just about to fuck with you, too. He was going to fuck with you even though he fucking you, bitch. He just, you was in your feelings. Oh. Oh, he mad? I'm fucking there. I like the nigga music. I'm a, I'm a hustling ass nigga. I don't give a fuck about no bitch. We got busy. The nigga mad about it. Okay. Send him something. <laughs> nigga don't want the new nigga to be cool. Fuck that. And the new nigga always so cool. Don't be. The niggas that you them first. The first Cause he been around since cool. you first started fucking nah, up. He know what true. you did. That's, that's why true. he be cool. Yeah, that's a stupid move. You should have threw the napkin away, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid, nigga. Nap nigga, napkin, nigga? <laughs> nigga, I was on your ass for three years. I, I didn't think you was gonna slip, player. Real player to play, I didn't think you was gonna slip. When she told me that, I was like, not my boy. Not my boy. That's not true, though. Damn, that nigga man. Being in the cut. That's not true. That nigga been there. every nigga I talked to after my ex was not an old nigga hey, that man. I used to know. I left all the niggas in the trash They game. was new to you. No, I'm saying, I'm yeah, telling you, niggas be lurking. But no, now when I go to their Instagram and shit, they didn't DM me before in 2019, That's what I'm saying. Niggas be, de- niggas be lurking like but this. But I ain't never respond. Like, <laughs> niggas be like, she done took the pictures down to them. Okay, go team, let's go, let's yeah. go. We in there, we got 24 hours. Hey, what's up, gorgeous? I see you going oh, through something, what's happening? Oh, listen, Niggas be a, on your ass. Soon as the on. pictures of that nigga come down. When a shade room posted that we departed, bro, that shit was like, open the flood gate! Yo! <laughs> Drop your back in the that street! That bitch is hurt! Nigga, bring the football! That bitch hurt! Then they the next day, they a week later, hold up! She really hurt, he had a baby, bro! Nigga, 
you see hurt, hurt. <laughs> Open the floodgates, you ain't got no kids, bro. Bravo team, bravo team, get on the roof, get on the roof. All the niggas that lead in line was, what's up, I would've never did you that, I don't even have no kids yet, we could make the first one. <laughs> Shit, niggas be lurking. But we, niggas we be on... don't care. Like, they come in no. the hands and say anything. They got some niggas that's gonna be like, hey. You wanna know who so the real beautiful. savages are? Niggas who will like pictures of her and the nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like, look at my baby. She's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> nigga like this, yeah. Like everything. Shout out to all the niggas. He laughing. You one of them niggas? No. I feel like you one of them niggas. We know niggas who don't give a fuck, man. I'm telling you, every crew of niggas got the one nigga that we have to stop. Y'all don't know the type of shit the nigga would do. Some niggas don't have that. They're nobody to stop them. But sometimes we're like, bro, cool out, bro. Stop. <laughs> stop, bro. Stop. Don't say that no more. Niggas is petty. No, for sure. <laughs> Fuck social media, bro. Social media made everybody competition. <laughs> I had like one of my little cousin pictures, man. She had posted a picture, her graduation picture or something. I liked the picture. Nigga was like, damn, low save or something. God damn. I was like, bro, this is family. Oh, OK, never mind. Hey, who are you, the fucking Instagram brother? <laughs> No, when Instagram deleted that little tab where you could see who the people you was following was liking and coming. Every time I see my homeboy being thirsty under somebody's picture, I'll go under the picture and whatever he wrote, I'll write the same thing right under Hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> whoever you like, don't follow their social media. Fuck around and see what they really like. Wait, what you mean? You gonna see the shit that they nah, really like. The, the nigga I fuck with, he could follow me. I'm saying. I don't feel like I be on Instagram tripping. Some people do, though. You'll find out some shit that people like that you never knew that they like. Like what? Pickles? Pickers. Type of shit. Like what? People are into all types of hobbies and cats and shit like that. I didn't know I, was, I didn't know that motherfuckers like magic like that. Until <laughs> I start seeing all these magic videos pop up, like, you motherfuckers really like to be manipulated. What magic? Like magic tricks. Like, all right, check this out. It's gone. Them little aggravating bitches always coming on my live asking me, can they do a magic trick for me? I'd be like, yes, make yourself disappear. You should teach a class on social media. Mm. What kind? Like, how to work that shit. How to work social media? Yeah. Give me some social media tips. Style people business. I don't be in people business. I'm just saying, you said, well, is it personal or like you want me to give tips? Yeah, to people who gonna watch the show. Yeah, so a style of people business. Y'all be in these people business when they break up or when they not posting their friend no more and you got so much to say and you know, then one of the parties block you and then they back friends or they back together. Now you can only follow half of the friendship or half of the couple. And you heard, now you in my comments yeah. talking about, tell Super unblock me. Mm -mm. Now, now I gotta block you because you shouldn't even say anything. Right. Because now you blocked by association. Right, we don't know you like that. Right, so. I block you know. the people who say some bullshit and the people who like it. No, listen, I block all the people who liked it first, then I block them. I will even block you if I catch you saying like weird, rude shit in shade room. It ain't even gotta be rude. Yeah. I just block you because I disagree. Me too. I'm petty. You shouldn't have said it. You should have. Like, you came on my page to try to change my mind. This ain't what we're here to do. Like, let's nope. say. I don't need nobody to tell me what the fuck I like. And fuck what like, you let's like. Let's say I go to Beyonce picture, to our Beyonce page, to like a few pictures, right? And I go to leave my little comment. Oh, I love it, B. This is so beautiful, right? If I, in the midst of me seeing that scene, you was under the picture like, L, like, she's getting so old. Them weirdos. Block. I don't even fuck Nah, but I block you just in case you ever was gonna run across my page, because if I know if you gonna say some shit about her, bitch, you gonna cut up on my page, right. so, you know. Hey, I'm letting them know. We in the future now, the pandemic done here, that shit. 
if I just disagree with whatever you, I'm, <laughs> all right, whatever. I'm the shit. I don't know what you thought. But um, I ain't yeah, playing with you. I would oh. say stay out people business. Stay out people business. If you got a brand or a business, are you trying to build your social presence? Stay consistent. Stay consistent. If you get shadow banned, post a lot. Post a lot. Um, Tweet through it. What else? Um, spread yourself through all social networks because social networks they die, they come back. Some die, never come back. And. Spread yourself across these social networks because social media doesn't transfer. Just because you got a million followers on Twitter, we don't give a fuck on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Just because you got three million followers on Instagram, us on YouTube, we don't give a fuck about that either. Just because you got um, two billion subscribers on YouTube, us on Facebook, we really give no fuck about that. I love Facebook. Yeah, me too. It's the right amount of ghetto. It's so ghetto. (laughs) Motherfuckers be on that talking about people stuff they strolling like yeah. crazy shit. Monty and them was arguing over some macaroni and cheese. Yeah, I love that. Who made the potato salad? Like Monty had made the macaroni and cheese and posted it in my like my great auntie was like her ass can't even cook no macaroni. <laughs> right. Whole family was just laughing. Love that. It was, love that. Shout out to them. So um yeah, social media don't transfer and um if you got something negative to say like just keep it to yourself. Yeah. Like just talk about your a, shit. Just because it's a comment space, you don't have yeah, to. You don't got, fuck, yeah, you don't Yeah, talk about up. your shit. You got to put some, like, I feel like you can't talk about, you can't talk shit if your shit ain't up there too. You like, talking about the car I bought my cousin because it wasn't a fucking Mercedes or a Range Rover or a Wraith or something like that. You saying, oh, you could have bought them something. You don't even have a car. But first of all, people need to shut their fucking dumb ass mouth because they don't even know if your cousin really wanted that particular car. But if I get my broke cousin a race and it's time to get an Earl change or a tire, the tire flat, what the fuck they gonna do? Nothing. But if I get them a Kia and she has her a nice little job, or I get her a brand new Honda or a fucking Altima, Versa, a Maxima, which are all nice cars. The Malibu. That's why I don't be posting all that like, type of shit. If, if you, those are all cool cars. They're nice cars. If I buy her that, she can take care of it. Right. And get to what she need to get. But people be feeling like, when they think you have a certain amount of money or when you have a certain amount of money that like, you have to do shit that they can't even do. Well, the fit their standard of what you're supposed to be yeah. doing. Yeah, everything that motherfuckers post out there gave, don't Oprah need your feedback. Oprah everybody in her audience a call, right? <clears throat> but the people had to pay the taxes on the call or whatever, some shit like that. And everybody's like, Oprah gifted all the people a call and knew they couldn't pay the damn taxes on the call. How she knew that? If your ass can get to the Oprah show, you got you smart enough good. to figure out how to pay these fucking taxes. But I'm just saying, like, people just never satisfied. Fuck them people. Yeah. I don't be giving a fuck about what people say. That's true. My cousin been asking me for an 86 box Chevy <laughs> ever since this shit hit a million subscribers. <laughs> What's gonna happen if I post that shit? Like, goddamn, y'all, that's all you can do, man. That's what he wanted. Fuck these people. They always got these opinions like this, like gonna change what the fuck going on. You don't right. know what we about to do off camera or whatever. That's okay. We just post this shit because we know niggas like you needed something to opinionate. But keep doing your thing too, I guess. Because if all the comments were good, we would never see what the fuck you said. I don't really Talk care your about shit. Them, if you don't like this shit, say it. Fuck it. Whatever. It's your opinion. But guess what? Wrong. Just click the fucking video. Yeah, you don't even have a show for me to have an opinion on. Click when you the get a show, video. I won't like it back. How about that? <laughs> Keep your shit going. Just click, click the fucking video. Terrible ass and sound. Watch it all Fuck the way you. Through. Yeah. Do that. Before you get to writing a comment, make sure you all the way at the end of the fucking video. Yeah. We're going to bring some critics on there, like the people who leave thumbs down on our videos. Do it tell you who exactly leave them down? Nah, they, I wish it would though, right. like, cause I need to know, like, bitch, what's up with you? Why you like, what's up? But if you clicked on it, it'll just be somebody with no videos no and just like a little cartoon. That's just some robots on the internet. Why are they on the black ass show having an opinion anyway? They don't never be on shit else until you be like, man, fuck what they talking about. Then be like, oh, really? 
I was enjoying the show, but I'll never watch another episode because you said fuck jogging pants. I wear jogging pants every day, man. I got jogging pants on. Whatever. That's just the way this shit work. That's it's not true. real. The people who really love us, they out there. Yeah. That's why I try not to focus on people who like don't support uh, people who you know who don't like me because there's so many people who do and i just feel like it's, it's unfair to them for real yeah it really is unfair it's unfair yes because cause... i just got on here and four thousand other people just got on here and said fuck you. i love you and you only responded to them that say fuck you but you right. couldn't tell us thank you or you love us you put all your time and your attention into that Plus, it's a slap in the face to your true fans, so yeah. that's why I'm trying not to do it. But they see. just be really aggravating me. Yeah, because that hate is different. You need to know exactly who hates you and see who's going to try to run up on you. Them be the same people who want to take pictures with you, though. They be like, hey, can I get a picture, man? What's your Instagram? Who are you, buddy? <laughs> I Who hate those are you? people that just want to take the pictures just because they see other people taking it like, well, I'm going to get one too. No, you're not. Who? who? Oh, I'm about to do this with my fan real quick, man. I'm going to roll. I, don't, I think we've been giving people too much credit. Some people out here are operating in a different means of mental space. Because people do weird ass shit like niggas, but hey man, let me get a picture. If you put your hand on my back, I'm fucking flipping you over. Don't touch me, man. Like, what are you doing? You don't need your hand on my back? What the fuck kind of picture is this? <laughs> my nigga, don't touch a nigga. Don't ever touch a nigga back. Why, why would you touch a nigga back? Huh? Why, why, why would you touch a nigga's back? I'm just saying, like. Like, why would a nigga touch a nigga's back? <laughs> But as a girl, it's even worse because they touch us right here. I slap hands all day. Well, they be thinking that y'all playing, I guess. No, like, nigga, really, they always want to put their hand right here. And you got to be like... You want, I'm thinking that the back shit bad. But if people out here touching your ass and stuff... You... Yes, niggas, they automatically... When a nigga go to hug y'all, where they hug y'all at? Fucking it up for niggas. So when they Fucking go to it up take for the niggas picture? like me who like titty hugs. I don't know why y'all niggas is trying to fill on these women asses when them titties is up there minding they business. <laughs> I do church hugs. Hey, how you doing? All right. Stay stay blessed. I get these. That's what's up. We through hugging anyway. Fuck that. Hugging died out 2020. Because of COVID? We only hugging relatives. And people we get money with. I don't feel yeah. like anybody, like, well, I know some older people they did, but I feel like younger people, we oh. felt like quarantine meant, like, only people we know. But it's like, your friend can have COVID, bro. It was like, who you with? Oh, nah, bro, you know, COVID and all that. But look, when you leave from with them, you could come. If they was just with them and they got it, don't you think they would have transferred it and now your friend is bringing it over to you? I got a theory. Like, I think it has something to do with running out of tissue. You remember when they said black people couldn't get COVID at first? Oh, nigga, we was running with that. No, nigga, but black people can't get it. Niggas was believing that shit all the way to the end. No, so cause we it, got cause it. The weed, I be blowing the weed out. So you blow the weed out. <laughs> breathe in new air. So to add it up, blow it out, got weed in it. So. You know, whatever it is. <laughs> nah, I better hit the weed, you feel me? Nah, so. that's a fact. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you coming through the trap. I appreciate you for And guess what? Shout out to all the niggas who got jammed up on that last little piece of evidence. Oh, you want me to run through the list of what they usually are? Ponytail holders, bobby pins, some kind of pink shit. Lip gloss, chapstick. Lip gloss. Chapstick. Huh? Earring. Eyelashes. Earring. Earring. Glitter. Fingernail. Hair. Weave. Hair. Weave. Yeah. Weave. Sock. Panties. Weave. 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 A lot of weave. Weave. Lace fronts. Your girl got a hair do like that. I come over there with this on. This whole like whole the fuck up. See, most niggas gonna think that's a setup. What the, what the fuck? How the fuck I'm supposed to know what's red ass I came from? You been around all them girls and shit. I don't know that. That's disputable. Not when y'all really been cheating a lot, though. 
Y'all just, once you apply just even a little pressure, it just go, open the gates. All right, look, this way, all right, look, I, 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 I'm just, all right, so look, this way what happened. So it really wasn't like that, it was like this, but I. Whatever. Y'all acting like women don't get caught cheating. Y'all don't have no strategy when y'all caught. Y'all just sit there looking stupid. You just cry. <laughs> Just cry. Yeah, I don't know. When in doubt, cry. I don't know. Y'all just get, when women get caught, it's just all fucked That's up. That's not true, though. By the time we get you. caught cheating, we wanted to get caught. We just Shit. wanted you to make the decision. Sometimes y'all get caught. Mid taco. <laughs> Mid taco. Y'all big chilling. Women bold too. Women do shit like come to your job while they know you working with the new nigga and just sit there like she done shit on herself the whole time. <laughs> Yo. Bold like that. Yeah. Women get caught cheating all the time. And you could tell when a nigga done caught it. That shit might be old as fuck, but he just caught you. This what the fuck we doing? This what the fuck we doing? Nigga read the text message verbatim. He got the shit memorized. Good morning, handsome. Remember that? Remember that? How long this shit been going on? You know what our famous answer is? Boy, all that shit you did. Fuck all that. Fuck that. <laughs> nah. You'd be like, boy, all that shit Whatever. you need, you can take this. One. Bro, start working on yourself. I feel bad for niggas who get caught cheating and can't leave because that's their spot to live. <laughs> you so mad you don't want to sleep in the bedroom now, you're just living in the living room. That's why I don't want to live with nobody until, like, we about to get married. Like, I want to move together, like, when, it's, when we get engaged. For real? And we could stay engaged for a while. Like I don't feel like because we got hey. engaged this year, we got to get married this Yeah, year. just keep it going. Keep the separate house. Fuck it. Uh-uh. No, we could live together, but I'm just saying, like, I feel like we should start the living together trial and error when we engage. Maybe. Because I feel like engagement is saying, like, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Like, I'm ready to come in and marry to you. But I don't think it means, like, I'm ready to get married tomorrow. I don't know. That's some murky water to step in. That's yeah. probably some shit I'm gonna talk to your dad about on his episode of the 85 South Show. Okay. <laughs> no shit about getting married to nobody. You don't believe in marriage? I ain't never said nothing like that. I'm, I didn't never say nothing like that. Shit, I believe in aliens, so that tell you, man, marriage ain't that strange to me. Yeah, I've seen some people be married before, and they liked it. I seen successful <laughs> marriages too. Hey, man, it is what it is. I feel like that's why a lot of people don't be believing in marriage, though, because they ain't never seen it, for real. Yeah. But I've seen a lot of successful marriages. I done been to a lot of weddings. Hey, man. I don't know. Who knows? All what? right, well, now you don't know nothing. I don't know shit about that. Now we're talking about some shit I don't know. Much love to all the married people. Mm-hmm. Who gonna stay married for the money? But how you know something about that? You don't know nothing about marriage, but you can say that. People get married for money all the time. And people get married for love, too, all the time. Yeah, well, love and money, the same shit depends on how much money it no, is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I just feel like... You ain't seen two crackheads have no nice wedding before. Yeah, but crackheads... The chicken's ready. Love. <laughs> the last time you went to a nice-ass wedding, it was two crackheads. Man, I swear to God, I want to be with her. They be yeah. love like a motherfucker. Hey, Amen. Love but is expensive. First of all, you said... Pussy ain't free, so that's an expense right there. You gotta live somewhere. You gotta do all that, so. Being in love costs about $50,000 a year. But being in love is also a thing. It ain't free? Nothing in life is free. Shit. There's some free shit around here. Nope. Okay. Even if you think it's free, you pay for it in some type of way. Spiritually. Whatever. Socially. Whatever. Emotionally. Again, whatever. <laughs> hey man, it's something about you that we could just talk this shit forever, Tokyo. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you for having me. No, you had me this time. I was a, a guest of yours. No. No, because you, you gave me so much game. Now I know that I got to really, at the next, uh, next Black Men Caucus, we got a lot to discuss. <laughs> You, you dropped a bombshell on me, especially about the 18 year olds. That means that my generation, we left the whole generation behind. Open the floodgate. <laughs> yeah, we gotta really do some regrouping. 
I mean, we, we thought we were making progress when we put the agents in place, but now that we know that our youth are failing us. They buying it. I know. But you know, I guess we've been putting so much time and energy into, you know, the agents that, you know, I guess. You know, when you first get some money, you would spend anything. You go in the mall and just Yeah. So you can imagine what they doing with the pussy. I can't, I can't. Because that's, I, now I know it's starting at the base and that's why we can't eradicate this shit off the top. Because we got, we got young drug dealers out here too with a lot of money and they putting ca they, they pumping cash into this shit. So that's why we can't control the price. Right, it's kind of like the cryptocurrency market. We wake up every morning, pussy be up a thousand points. Like, God damn, ain't nobody fucking Monday. Shit. Then one of the spokespersons like me, man. We, we fall in love or have a baby, so then it go back man, down. Man, it go back down. Pussy 41 cents of shit. Because when I'm in a relationship, <laughs> I be telling them, listen, ladies, this music is for entertainment purposes. Oh, home. man. Don't lose your nigga listening to me, because like, when I leave the studio, I go home to this nigga and do whatever he say. So with that being said. Why you ain't said none of that this whole time oh, we have been I here? Didn't know I was hey man, that would have been a whole show. You been on here pretending. Oh, we gotta end this. You imposter motherfucker. <laughs> Over here talking. Oh niggas, niggas got dirty dicks. Yes, sir. Y'all yes, do. Yes, sir. Do. The chicken's ready, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm about to wrap my hair and I'm come over there and jiggle those balls, sir. <laughs> oh, you fucking For the right imposter. man, but then as soon as I see that you're not... There ain't no such thing as the no, right man. No, but yes, for the right man. For the man like the that is presenting us. himself and acting uh, accordingly as the right man. Ain't no acting accordingly. But as soon accordingly. as you don't do that no more, bitch, you're gone. You know that. You're gone. No, see you don't yeah, let this. You heard what I said. See, that's how y'all do. You, heard what I you pick said. one nigga who do all of this shit the same way, and then you be like, I got a good nigga. The rest of y'all niggas need to get your life together. Niggas ain't friends listening, y'all. Niggas gonna do get what work. Get y'all shit together. Fuck, our shit been that's together. What the fuck y'all need to do? Get y'all shit together. Our shit been and together. We be tricking y'all. Niggas will come over there and live at your house for free, have a whole cave put away. Like yeah, yeah y'all need to get shit put away. Go here and tell this woman I'm broke. Got twenty two thousand in a sock. She ain't never find it. Let me find though, cause it's always gonna be that portion of men. She's here, listen to the black kings out here. I'm talking about kings. I'm talking to the niggas. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what y'all doing. I support y'all. This black woman is behind y'all. Don't so you see, niggas, that's the thing. Y'all want to support the niggas who are already doing good. Now I support you, support black kings. Support the kids. niggas. Kings don't need your goddamn kings. support. He already a king. That nigga at the top, there ain't shit you can be that's better than the king. I black king. King run everything. But you, you niggas that want to put me through niggas But the niggas in the street, back, please. Mm -mm. Just a little piece of pussy, man. Please. I beg of you. What Cardi B said? I haven't had pussy since the great What Cardi said? What did Cardi say? The king is doing Cardi fine. Said, he lives in the palace full of pussies. No pussy. He has an unlimited right. supply of pussies. But I please, just a little pussy for the winter and a nice warm couch to sleep on, please. Maybe a little pussy and a ham sandwich, please, ma'am. Please, can I just fuck on you for the winter months? I'll leave as soon as the weather breaks. I'll cut the grass and wash Look the dishes. Crazy. But I cannot seek employment until the summer months. I am a carpenter by trade. And I can't bear the winter cold. If you have just a smidgen of pussy I can borrow, I promise you I'll a make smidgen. a smidgen. Jen, I'll make good in the spring, I promise. I have a house to build so in Augusta. If you would just let me lay up for three months in this winter, I'll teach your boy how to shoot a basketball and how to speak with confidence. I'm not a stepfather, I'm that man. I won't even go in your room while your children are present, I swear, I swear. I won't leave my things in your living room. I will fold them neatly in a corner, I promise. Please give me a chance, Miss Tokyo. I have two pair of jeans. Of course I have children throughout. I have three little girls. One's a dancer and a piano player. That shit not gonna be like And a scientist. If you could just please, just spare me these three months, I promise in the spring I'll make good. I'll provide as much dick as you like. 
and I'm the grand champion pussy eater. Here's my trophy. I come from the forest. I'm new to the city, please. I'll stay in the shed. I really hate you. I really hate you. I'll, I'll work your farm, whatever you want. I can, I'm good with my hands. I want to get in your Instagram photos, but I'm a hell of a photographer. Did you know how to shoot a vertical video? <laughs> I hate you. Please, ma'am, just, just a little pussy, please, and nice warm place to stay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate that for y'all. I really do. I really hate that for y'all. That shit's sad. Whatever, you are a very successful black woman. It is your duty to, to uh, take care of at least two niggas a year. Are you yeah. fucking crazy? I'm just saying, are you successful as fuck? Uh, niggas are not even that expensive. You can afford to are adopt you crazy? two niggas a year. No, yes. no, indeed, no. Yes, you can. You let me adopt two niggas a you year. Can, you can. Even your daddy was like, wait, hell daddy, yeah, hell you yeah. You let me adopt two niggas a year. No, adopt two niggas a year. Hell no. Man, it's just like a nigga college fund. My niggas don't need but about $2,500. That's fucked up. You can rebuild a whole nigga for $2,500. $2,500? That's it. I'm not doing that. OK. Hey, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, Sorry, that I asked earlier for a price on some and never got back. Ladies, I don't know what y'all doing out here, but y'all are very successful. Y'all are owning businesses and multiple houses and multiple streams of income. If you are tired of dealing with the niggas that you've been dealing with, just rebuild you a nigga for $2,500. Cash money, that's nothing to you. You are very successful, you're making millions of dollars. Black woman income is at the highest it's been since the early 1900s. Y'all are the most educated group of people out here. You can afford to rebuild two niggas a year. No. Tokyo's out. Mm -mm. But she don't speak for the other five billion women that's on this planet. I'm speaking for y'all, sis. Put your motherfucking chin up and tell that nope. nigga get on his shit. Nope. What is you talking about? Niggas better get up off their ass. Nope. This shit ain't free. Ain't nothing in life free. You already out here food. saluting the Duggy. wrong niggas. You giving no. all your praise. We're saluting the men who want to be real. To men. niggas who the don't men who need want it. To be protectors I'm and speaking for the niggas he who haven't made not it. Not baby daddy, baby I don't let my success no determine who I am. We're I know not, that deep down that. inside, I am 50% African American, 50% nigga. Just because I broke through and made something of myself doesn't mean I'm going to turn my back on my niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Salute to all the black kings. You made it. Wow. Wow. You, ooh, you get all the support in the community. Everybody, everybody love you. Wow. Nigga went to college, graduated. Ooh, he fuck, He deserves all the praise. He's a good nigga. He stayed okay, at but home. Never, but listen, never did I wow. say, never did I say that those are the components. They don't never like, want, when, that's there's not some niggas though. out here too. That's not true though, because when, when I speak of somebody being a king, it's not just about you got no money. It's a lot of niggas with money too. I ain't need to say that. But money. I'm just saying, because you saying if he got a college degree and all that, I'm not even talking about that. Okay. Like, Again, that's something that, like, King is, is again, it's is in you, it's not on you. Like, when, when, you're a, when you're a king, it's a certain way you carry yourself. It's certain morals and standards that you live by. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about financially. It's a lot of niggas that just want to do nigga shit, but it's a lot of dudes who all like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, it don't matter their financial status, their education status. Oh, that's like, what I was saying. Yeah. See, niggas, before you, you just have to start off at niggas first, and then you, the nigga you talking about, like, they made it through the spectrum. I'm talking about the niggas no, who still I'm over there. No, but I'm you could be on the way there, but it's really some niggas that's cool with being niggas, and they gonna be that for the rest of their life. Yeah. They cool with that. Yeah, but I'm saying you can't be both. That's what happened to ghosts. You either a nigga or a king. <laughs> can't play both sides. Niggas had to learn that. That's why that show was so successful. You can't be a king in the motherfucking daytime and be a nigga at night. You gotta be all the way in. It's raining. You right. Oh shit. Well look, you done fucked around and made it rain. <laughs> you talked a hundred thousand dollars worth of shit on this show and now it's raining. Anything you wanna say in closing? Yeah, download all my damn music. We are. Thank you. And my own single collect call is out now. And when streaming we have the meeting, I'm gonna make sure the niggas and the kings hear it too. Good. Streaming on all streaming platforms. 
Make sure all those kids listen to it individually, though. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. Oh, we're not gonna listen to it in the group. Yeah, make sure they all send it out in the in the, the new nigga care package. Like let that. No, nah, we gonna post the video and niggas gonna be in there. Yeah, most definitely put put it on the end of the email that you have to send out to all the new niggas, all the niggas that's going in the camp to reform to become one of the new niggas y'all put out. Right. Yeah, send the when you send the package. Put the song at the bottom. Oh, did you know, like, one of the requirements to even be a king, you got to be a nigga for six months straight. Yes. Thugging. Yes, absolutely. Don't, can't take a day off. Mm-mm. Stone cold thugging. Right. Like, I ain't talking about, like, when the shootout happened, he was inside, he come outside, like, what? Right. Niggas did what now? And guess what else we doing? We electing our kings, too. We, t- we tired of letting y'all select who represent the niggas. OK. We tired of this shit. Because some of the niggas y'all picked was flimsy. Well, right now, some right now, y'all got Kevin Samuel speaking no. for y'all. No, see, so. we ain't never picked dude. Y'all we got ain't Kevin dude. speaking for y'all No, right we now. don't. See, we ain't picked dude. We y'all ain't got picked Kevin dude. speaking for y'all. No, we don't. But, I, but you know no. what? See, I how you going to tell me who's speaking for okay, her? Look at Marvin Gaye looking at you when you said that. <laughs> he don't appreciate that. You own a nigga show, and I'm telling you, we've been having meetings and shit that we didn't but pick you not the only, y'all not the only We baby. don't even know, buddy. We don't know who put him in place. From all we know, he came from y'all side. But that nigga's a plant. I had to learn that nigga's stop a plant, him, man. We, I'm not we, even we, mad with him no bro, more. Bro, I ain't no, I ain't seen that nigga who, who went to school with him. I don't know no nigga who smoked a blunt with him. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't seen nothing. Ain't, I ain't who, mad with who, Kevin who, no who is cousin them? I'm not mad with him no more. I'm mad with the bitches who gone. Hey, hey, I, I, I salute ain't going the brother. Enough for no nigga to talk crazy to me. I salute the brother. I don't. But I'm letting you know from I from the, the side the of the niggas who been coming to the meetings. Yeah, I'm just letting you know that he wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Even your daddy was like, hell no, that nigga wasn't. Y'all your, niggas that nigga wasn't Kevin to talk for meeting. y'all. You get three votes. Y'all picked Kevin to talk for y'all. No, we didn't. Look at your daddy. We, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. I heard y'all niggas smoke with Kevin. Y'all took him to the booty club, all that. All y'all niggas, they say y'all had a whole inauguration for him. Now we know what's really going on. Brothers, you see what happened? It don't matter what type of right information that we put out. The wrong information is going to get out. We know what we did. We'll be here all night defending ourselves, but we know what happened. And salute the buddy, but we don't know who we working for. I don't know. I seen him do some questionable shit. I was like, whoa, whoa, why would you ask somebody that? So, I just had to leave it on social media. Not, this is my show. God damn it. This is my safe space. Titties is welcome over here. This is a podcast created for real niggas that like Coochie with the hound and we don't know them other niggas. This podcast right here is for niggas who like all kind of titties. Big ones, little ones, long ones, soft ones, hard ones. Them ones that be big when she sit back, but they little ones she sit up. We, we like the ones like when she wear a shirt, they be facing down. I'm talking about the ones that that's had a space between them that's natural. We like all kind of titties. I'm talking about we like all that shit. Niggas who just be overlooking flaws on women. When he ain't even ask you how you got that scar on your leg. Nigga, that ain't it been. They're like real niggas. Niggas who like big t-shirt pussy. Oh my God, bro. Right. I'm talking about niggas who used to drive the shit out their auntie car. <laughs> right. Niggas who eat coochie with the drawers on. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. Cause I'm I, out of here. It's been a while since I'm I told him. Yeah. Fine. Real niggas is back. Is it ain't, oh wait, wait, don't clap, don't clap. Cause we should have been here. <laughs> but we still, no. Nah, when the social media area hit, niggas got caught up in all that advertising money and the wrong motherfuckers fell in the position. Real niggas is out here this summer. You about to see niggas doing shit you ain't seen in three summers. Niggas is washing cars again. <laughs> niggas no, is, niggas is building motors and shit. Niggas is painting shit. Niggas is out here doing manual labor up early, seven o'clock, eating good sausage, biscuit, everything. <laughs> Grown man shit. Niggas is doing daddy shit again. Kids is not eating all their food. Guess what daddy doing? Hey, don't throw that away. We doing that shit again. <laughs> we doing that shit again. Ever since they've been making all these cash cards and shit, niggas been pitching in. Yeah. It's a few niggas this summer who done went back two relationships ago and coaching that girl's son football team. <laughs> For free! 
ain't missed a Saturday in 11 weeks. Shout out to all the football coaches out there doing the right thing. Who out there really focused on them kids and ain't looking at them kids' mamas and stuff like that. It's all right to look, but don't be no goddamn creep, man. Just look and do some coaching, man. Don't just be staying at there later. She wore them shorts because she know. Little freak ass. These are just some updates from the street, Tokyo. Had to be said. All right. Um, ladies, keep doing your thing. We're going to talk shit, but hey, we love you too. Whatever you got going on. Yeah. Yeah, we supporting all you little fucked up, trying to find yourself bitches this year. A bunch of women gonna do a bunch of crazy shit, see, tattoos. See what he gotta say about the girls, I'm just though. saying, it's gonna be it's some niggas on the other side dealing with that. You gonna cut your hair off and be bald head all summer and cry mm-hmm. every day. And some of y'all, gonna be and a some nigga. of y'all need to cut your hair off. And he gonna be like, baby, you but still look good. But it's a lot of y'all who need to cut y'all off, though. I told you you look good. But it's what a lot of y'all who need to cut y'all off, though. Good man, it's gone. It's a lot of you partners. Who they got the George Jefferson is starting to emerge. We bringing that you back too. You got a too. lot of partners. We bringing that back you too. You got a Shout lot of partners. Shout out to Chico. Niggas, no, we not bringing that shit back. Niggas, real Cut hairlines is coming back off. this summer. Wherever they no. at. No. Wherever they at. Two Y'all more weeks. Y'all niggas out here getting hair transplants right. and shit too. Two more weeks, everybody taking their hat off. Y'all losing it too. July 24th, everybody hat coming off. We don't want to see that shit. We been looking shit. at y'all bald head ass something something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two weeks. Everybody go and get your natural hair game together. Y'all can go natural. Niggas going natural. Y'all embrace natural hair. You feel me? Embrace some young niggas with hairlines like your uncle now. We out here. (laughs) This last summer, real niggas is back. At least you look nice, ball. Come on now. (laughs) Thank you. All right, uh, let's fucking get out of here, man. Thank you, Tokyo. Don't let this be the last time you come to the trap. You gotta come back. Don't let this be the last time y'all invite me. No, this is how it works. Like, you know when you like, when you black and you come over to somebody's house and then you can just come over there? Oh. This, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just pop up and be like, I got some shit to say. Turn the cameras on. This the studio. Okay, baby. This a trap. Babe. All right, babe. We fuck with you, though. Don't act like y'all don't know me when I pull up here. How we gonna not know you? And I need to hold one of y'all food stamp cards. So what's up? I was, I told you, but we talked about it. I had, right. we got okay. something in play. All right, bet. I feel like that was a good, healthy black episode of the 85 South Show. Shout out to Chico, DC, Clayton, everybody that nabbed the whole family. Nab could have told Eddie Murphy, what up? Um, Ghetto Legends Tour coming soon. Yeah, we're gonna jump that thing on up, man. We ain't playing with these folks. 85 South Show, Tokyo Vanity. We out of here. Be ready. Tokyo, let's get a picture right quick. You done ran off on the plug.